really good noise. I it's actually don't right. right. remember hit, which. Play it. Hit it for what? us. I had the to gritty. like. Hit the gritty. What is the Pikmin noise again? I don't know what it... a Pikmin sounds like, so you can't be wrong. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> It I was like the the fucking noise they make when you pull them out of the ground. It's not gonna be as good now because it was good in class, but it was like no. Stop like doubting yourself and send it. I did it. Not my fault you didn't hear it. She literally it. did. She literally did. It was good. It this was sucks. good. Oh, they make that little noise because like, someone yeah, someone so. drew a Pikmin oh as a soldier in a war and dying <laughs> in like combat, and I was like, yikes. I joined. Like I left for like know. less than less than a second, and you guys are already on a different topic of conversation. How did that happen? <laughs> we are not. Like I left, and you were talking about Pikmin, and then you and I come back, and you're talking about war. What happened? Well, no, they were connected. To <laughs> turn oath. <laughs> no. Season three, episode yeah. one. <laughs> Throw, Season okay. three, baby. Rowan, do you want me to restart the recording? I was trying to catch you doing the Pikmin. <laughs> <laughs> No, we keep it in. We keep it. We keep rolling. We keep rolling. Keep rolling. Get no, it? We have no cuts. We have you... no cuts. Wait, in wait, this wait. Chat. Did you get it? I don't know. I didn't hear it. But Sir uh, Dox has like... heard it. I didn't hear right. it. Well, Leave it. Yeah. Leave it, and people can go back and see if they find it. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> the search for the Wahoo. Oh, <laughs> if, if no one else gets it, Sir Dog that lives and dies with us. Yeah. 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 Just like Silverman pissing himself in that alleyway. God yeah, damn it. no one ever found out. Oh, we love Silverman. Yeah, oh, wait, really I forgot the intro music. Here we go. Grave. The intro music, reactivate. Oh, oh shit. All right, everybody get into traumatized mode. Everybody, you just watched someone oh, die. Fuck. All right, oh, guys, I got a warm up for you. Uh, if you guys had to watch one other player character from Turned Off Die, oh. uh, who, who would be the, the one you would least I want don't. to die? I don't least like want, this game. Y'all already Wait, know I, my I answer. Least want to die yourself? You're not attached to any of us. Like, in character. No, I don't want Port to die. I don't want Port to... Oh, are we answering... Well, we're in answering it in character, right? Oh, that's I like wouldn't want... Up? As a player, I don't want Port to die, because if Port dies, then my backstory is gone forever. If Port oh, dies, then she gets what she wants! <laughs> Oh my god. Damn. That was a heavy bomb to drop 30 seconds into the session. Anyways, the person, I think the person that Zephyr would want to not die the most. I can't word. I keep looking at. I keep looking at. I want pizza. That one. We. Meow. Just I click on bots and rolls. I, I got distracted. And I was like, keep staring at Pepito's ass. Why did oh my god. That? You guys suck. I'm deleting the cat. Good, no. please. Get rid of- get- delete get pepinoed. Okay. Report message. Got such a and harassment. Ass. Okay, wait, who, who was Zephyr's answer? Oh, um... I'd say... Oh god, that's really hard. You have to answer in character, too. Like we're all talking to each other, or we're like in a Total Drama Island confessional? Total, total Drama Island, Island confessional. <laughs> okay. Okay, cause that changes this! Somebody yeah, we're not- this isn't canon anyways, this is like just us getting into character. <laughs> Somebody has to go, I'm still thinking about it actually. I never answered these in Port's voice because that Port doesn't have a voice, but can I be honest and say that with Zephyr being like a word for wind and like the short black hair and all that, I think that <laughs> as much as Port enjoys Tor, if Zephyr died, it would feel like losing Silverman again. Oh. And she is not ready for that. <laughs> Ugh. Um, you know, you got you gotta like throw in like, oh, it's a windless day today somewhere in like one of your descriptions just to fuck with everyone. Yes. Oh god. Have you guys Paris figured out still? what elements you guys are yet? What alignments? No, I, I no mean, elements. Right. Yeah, all you guys are in elements. I mean, mine has oh, to elements. be water. And mine if has it's to be not, air. I will be surprised. Well, yeah. no, Zephyr is air because her name literally means wind. Yeah. But no, also Zephyr fire. is fire, you <laughs> dolt! <laughs> oh. Could be either. I, I don't thought, care. I thought, oh. you were, I, thought you, I thought you were Earth, Tikorn, because uh, you Because you got flat. Yeah. I thought. Stop. No, that was a joke. I'm air because wind is my I big thought, It was one of my big motifs. I thought you were Earth because you kind of grounded the. You, you very much grounded the. I like us all discussing like about that. this, but like Port has never had a question of if she's water or not. Like everyone's no. like, no, that's a water I think, bitch. I oh, think yeah. Tor is Earth because Tor is dirty. <laughs> I think Tor is Earth because the pillar thing came from the Earth, right? I can yeah. understand that. Yeah. I think I think sense. I think he could be Earth because he's very hard headed. I don't think your patrons like if I had to guess, I don't think your patrons like up above, I think it's down below. 
Yeah. I think Tor is Earth because he has a hat. <laughs> Understandable. Like, what? I think Tor is Earth because he's bald. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Tor is Earth because he <laughs> smells and he's <laughs> ugly and he's short. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you know, I figured. The camera cuts to Tor in the Total Drama Island confessional. He's just sobbing openly, and he's like, oh my "I don't God. want anyone else to die." <laughs> His fucking toupee falls off. I think it falls I into think, the toilet. I, would, I think the person. <laughs> the fuck up. I think the person that Zephyr that Zephyr would very much not want to die currently. I think is probably Port. Like I I think I think she cares about Tor and Port very much and it's very close. But Port definitely feels I think more at least in my head concretely like a big sister role. And I think Tor is still really important to Zephyr, but uh, she's still kind of I think hesitant to get attached to people. And um, not that Port's <laughs> been helping that. No, Port doesn't help it at all. I think it's I think it's actually I think it's because of Silverman that it's it's by a line it's by. A, a, like um, it's by association port. Yeah, because that's that's the closest to. Hey, you know, <laughs> one... you're not you're not the you're not the only one to yeah. think. Hey, port closest to Silverman. Closest to Silverman. <laughs> yes, like I second think, best. I think Ilmate would pick Tor because he feels bad that everyone else picked someone else. <laughs> 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 like having this as a conversation. I think that's just. I think that's just like. That's just, like he, he turns and points at Tor. Wow, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> So it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I think this is just, just bro. This is just this is this is the most relevant to the current status of like like everything that's happened recently is currently port, but it might change in the future. I don't Very think well. wants any of them to die. Mm -hmm. But she really doesn't want anybody any like any of them to die. She will go fucking insane. That's so yeah. true. Invitate does a backflip. I do backflip. No way! Can you do that again? Holy shit! Holy hell! <laughs> Google acrobatics check. Google. Holy flip! Holy All right, flip. folks. Because right. that transition from that music was so fucking fire, I gotta get this next song going. Hang on. Fire! <gasps> See, ah, heaven, holy fire. ambience. Do we want this? <laughs> All right, guys. Let's heaven. check in on how Silverman's doing. <laughs> what does Silverman want uh, to die at least? Port. You know the answer to Great that. No, stop. I was going to wait for it to go silent and be nice like, Great things answer. About me? I kind of feel like. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> I wanted it to go silent and then be like, That's a great answer, Silverman. <laughs> oh. Alright, take two. Do the joke again. Ready? No, it's already done. It's okay, we'll talk to Silverman later. <laughs> Anyways. Could do this. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. You should do the barony music. I'm not gonna do. Does barony even have music, or is it just silent? <laughs> Your mama is that music. like fucking? Oh no no no! We should do the fucking uh uh. What's the game with like the horrible droning music? Huh? huh? It's it's that it's that game where you move the weapon with your mouse. It's the physics top down. Oh, I have no fucking uh, idea Ex-Anima? Ex -anima. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, fucking Xanima music drives me fucking what, what wild, is this? as fun as the Nemo, game what is. is this? what game is this from? This sounds familiar. Uh, fantasy, uh, music. I, we've played it a Let's couple see. times. Okay, that's why it sounds familiar. It's from yeah. d, d I've played that yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. I've played that before. Like, <laughs> this, one time. This is, like, sad music. Um, it is. I'm kinda not feeling sad music. Hang on. Feeling more... Uh, put on not... the polka. Put on the clarinet. Get the polka. polka. Time for Let's go. <laughs> so like man is dead. The... Let's go. <laughs> we enter down the hatch and they're all playing like grand very music. <laughs> Just like Kurt, leverage like his thought against him or something. Put what on your timeline? I'm sending it to Kaburbi. Why are you funny. checking Twitter during the session? I My brother in Christ, Twitter. there is never a bad time to check Twitter. <laughs> I said this because I was checking Twitter. Exactly. <laughs> Look. Look, Sir Dog, I have to repost all crosscut art that I see. Why is yeah. Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast! Oh, this is a really good song. Yeah, but it doesn't huh? fit with the. Hang, hang on, let's get that. I think it does. I think it's like it's like not like sad, sad, but it could be just like. Melon. I don't is, think that this fits. Is, this, <laughs> is <too ha> <laughs> this is too happy. This is too happy. All right, all right, all right. We'll run this, and then I'll put some wind sounds over it. <laughs> but there's Compromise. not supposed to be wind. 
Stop. We're in the okay, well, we can fucking use the power of imagining. There you go. Use the power. Wait, wait, hang on, give me a second. Let me listen to this. I, why did I just notice that Shh. in this picture your eyes are dilated differently? Oh, yeah, this is it. Okay, I got it. I'm into okay, it. All right. Oh. All right, folks. Uh, last time when you left off, um, a bit of a recap here. Uh, I, did everybody, did anybody succeed their, their, uh, composure checks? Uh, <laughs> like, barely. Like, currently? Like, I don't like think forever. Ever like, Ilmo yeah, take like, both. Ilmo take the... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I don't think any of it, us, yeah. It would be arguably funnier if Ilmo Tate didn't. Like, we're all of a sudden, he's like, damn, this shit sucks. Yeah. He's I a think... compassionate crier. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, none of us know. Like, I think, like, once, and it was just, like, barely. Not, not my dumb. I was checking low res memes for our bot rolls. <laughs> like, damn, there's no rolls in here. Damn, there's no rolls in here, man, but there's some cool ass memes. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and run this for just a little bit here, where you guys are in this cart moving uh, a fairly decent distance northwest. I'm gonna let you guys chat for just a little bit longer in the cart, and then I think a long rest, and then I'm just gonna have you guys jump cut. To being at the destination. All right. Okay. Cool. We had just talked about the book, correct? Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's where we were. Awkward. I feel like in the parts <laughs> where yeah. This music's well, I feel like we're in, in the parts report isn't actively distracted. She uh yeah she I mean still gets pretty quiet like. <laughs> Distractions help her, but they're not, uh, I mean, fixing it. Her brother just died. Yeah, yeah. It's a little yeah. bit hard to get distracted and not think about that. Um, yeah. Okay. Is it... <laughs> if, we're, if we're looking for a distraction, uh, I, nothing like talking to each other to pass the time. I mean, we've got someone new to talk to, right? So let's... Let's uh, let's learn about each other. Zephyr is kind of just like um, like hugging her knees and just not really saying uh, anything. I was imagining poor in the same fucking. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Just like a fucking drawing of every single person yeah. but Ilmo yeah. in the front in the fetal <laughs> position in the back crying. Um, she she has... his big like the yikes like face. God, she has her she has her like her her cape hood on for once too. She's just kind of there, <laughs> just shock silent. Blanket. Not, yeah, shock blanket. <sighs> not a I'm bad idea to that... get to know each other. If you guys yeah. want to share, I don't think I don't know. Port will an port's on in more of a answer when spoken to mode, which sucks yeah, because I'm... I <laughs> I usually try to initiate things with my extrovert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hey, I, I was kind of assuming yeah. that everybody went silent after Tor suggested that, and I was like, okay then. Yeah. Um, how in, how like active do I need to be while I'm driving the vehicle? Um, the silver because it's uh, a living animal, um, won't collide with anything, and it'll kind of pretty much keep the heading you've got it on. Okay. In that case, while I'm while I'm driving, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of wood carving. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna be making a miniature silver out of wood. Oh. oh. Like the bug, not the person guy. Yeah. I make a time. I take, make a miniature silverman. <laughs> and here comes a flying rock. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it. Oh, um, but yeah, Tori will kind of point at, like, at Ill, and he will go, please help me, help me oh my make God. these guys talk. Oh. Rowan fucking died. Rowan death. Rowan. Sorry, I tried the, to control F and I control R. It's okay. The silver in the front. Man, this cart I'm pulling got a little bit lighter. What's going on? <laughs> 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 that was Kaverbi taking a shit. Stop! Yeah, but... <laughs> um, but you're saying Tor? But yeah, but yeah, Tor will turn to Ill and he will go, Please help me make these people talk. It never ends well when they're silent. He's gonna kind of like turn and look at you. He's like, Oh, yeah, 
can't exactly make them talk. They don't want to. Well, that's true, but <laughs> it's not, it's not going to end well if we don't talk to each other again. It'll happen in time. Tor will just kind of nod and cross his arms and go into the fetal position. Oh my god. <laughs> um, He'll assume you, the position of the card. You will see, um, you will see after a while Zephyr go into her bag and take out some playing cards and start just kind of fiddling with them, shuffling them. She doesn't, she doesn't seem to know what she's actually playing yet, she's just shuffling them. Party rock anthem. Party rock anthem. You can hear it in the background. Every day I'm shuffling. Is that from my end? No idea. I have a lot of noise in my house, so I don't know. <laughs> hey, Picorn. I'm sorry to derail the session every more, but um, why didn't you put party rock anthem in Silverman's death playlist? <laughs> <laughs> Can't shuffle if he's six feet under. <laughs> no longer shuffling. It's more than six feet. <laughs> I'm putting on my, no my noise compression. Uh, Tor will also take out his playing card deck and start fiddling with it. He'll I don't try have to a do playing tricks. card deck. <laughs> um, I'm uh, gonna roll performance to see how well I can do this playing card trick. What is my? I hope you get like a nat one. one. I earnestly hope you get a nat one. Slightly above average. <laughs> I, I, may, I flip a card in the air and I catch it with the deck and then I just go back to shuffling. <laughs> and that's God. the only thing he does. Wow. You just see, you just see Zephyr like continue, like, you know, like when like somebody like shuffles him, like when they're doing the thing where it's just like, like up and down with them, where they're just like, no, not even that. She's just like, like just the one part of it. <laughs> Yeah, she's just doing that over and over again. She's not even, like, finishing shuffling them. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the jump cut now. Yeah, I don't think this <laughs> yeah. is a good idea. I'm getting the shit out of you guys. Alright. Look, so, no, look, 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 we, we, we got, we got... I know you were trying. Like, no. Thank you I don't for think trying. It, I, don't, I don't think it really made much... It would make much sense for us to be talking I with all of so. each other no, right that's, now. that's fair. Yeah. Last that's time we had, like, me. a huge fucking, like... Shit happened, yeah. It's really good. Um, I after a while of just playing with his card deck, Tor will just kind of nod off in the cart. Yeah, yeah. And then I need some. Uh, yeah. Does everybody take this long rest here? Yeah. Imagine yeah. a D and D player not saying yes to long rest. <laughs> I, I know. Just... You take one level of exhaustion for fun. <laughs> for fun. Right. Fuck you. Now, I gotta put on. Man, this person went full off the deep end making this D and D playlist. I didn't make this, but it's just got like shit posts on it. Oh my god! All right. Here we go. <clears throat> See how this goes. Mm, this isn't mysterious enough. Let's try this. Come on. There we go. As you slumber. Um. Slumbo. Slumbo. Tor. That's me. Oh no. You start to have a dream. <clears throat> it's hot. It's wet at the same time. Your feet ache. And you cough on smoke. Turn to look around you. And see the rest of your party marching through dark brownish water. A few feet deep. The dream goes on for a long while like that. Eventually. And suddenly. A high-pitched whistle fills the air and without thinking, you begin to do something strange. 
Your lungs protest heavily, but you fill your lungs with acrid smoke, choking in the back of your throat and dive underwater, holding the terrible breath in your chest for as long as you possibly can. For a moment, you're distracted from the aching in your chest as the water near you becomes boiling hot. And then, the dream begins to fade, but it doesn't slip away, not entirely. For a moment, it does. But something that hasn't happened before, the dream sort of refocuses, shifts back into the front of your mind, and you keep watching. Less clear, but still ongoing. You see yourself stand up. The water is black now. The air still chokes you, but now... Now you're alone. And then you wake up. What's wrong? It's, um... I it's, uh, it's, it's nothing. Just, um, just a bad dream. Um, Zephyr won't say anything, but it looks like she, that uh, she was up for a little bit. And I want to see yeah. if there's anything. She's, she's, she's just kind of, it looks like she's reorganizing in her, her backpack. Uh, uh can everybody roll perception? Of... Oh, sure. Perception, you said? Yeah, uh, you're asleep still, right? Do you want to roll that with disadvantage? I don't think, unless it's sound based. Like if it's a if it's sight based, I don't think I should roll. But if it's sound based, I will roll with disadvantage. Go ahead and roll. Okay. You said uh, perception. Well, yes, please. No. I'm gonna hide my roll because I don't want my modifiers to give anything away about my clocks yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, uh, yeah, Tor will, as he wakes up, he will take out his parchment and quill and will be writing stuff down about his dream. All the stuff he can remember. At wow. Least. Shit. That was, Port Damn, rolled Port. well for being asleep. Port's on edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Port's listening. She's like so, one of those, like, half sleeps. Uh, I'm gonna say both Port and Tor at about the same time. Look towards Port, your backpack. There's an odd sizzling, snapping sound coming from your backpack. Mark goes for it. Ooh, <laughs> Fucking uh, no hesitation. Wait. You say, what do you do? I, no, she was just I saying yell. to him, like, why would I wait? That's the necklace, right? You still had that on your bag. Then isn't that all the more reason I should go for it? Zephyr looks tense. Stop the when, cart. When you say that. Oh, are uh, we almost. in the cart? I thought we were like at a destination. No, I think we're still in the cart. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming we we're still in the cart. Yeah. yeah okay. Cool. Sense. If, we, if we, we, arrest, we if we were resting, then I don't think the cart would be moving. I think we would have stopped for the night. Okay, so we just camped in the cart. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I guess I was figuring uh, out where we're spending the night, regardless. Uh, anyway, I will retcon that to be everybody get out of the cart. <laughs> my God. Um. Wait. So, so Port just threw the backpack out. No, she didn't. She went oh, okay. to like touch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> she wants to see what's inside. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Then Zephyr immediately gets out. Yeah, she'll look in. You're looking in the bag. Yeah. Oh my God. Expecting the worst. You search around for the red hot light of a fire starting in your bag, but you don't see anything. The sizzling sound has quieted down slightly. Do I, like, figure out what's causing the sound? Um, as you dig your hand around, um, in your bag, I'm gonna say. Yeah. You do locate. Or it's the kind of person to like find some shit by like digging around like that. The the necklace. It's hot to the touch, but not to the point where you can't hold it uh, while shifting it from hand to hand. Um, 
as you pull it out, the sizzling continues to diminish and the rocks cool down. Um, Bomb technician can port? I make, <laughs> can I make an arcana check on it to see why the hell it did that? Go ahead. Cool. I almost was like, can I also make an arcana check? <laughs> Um, oh my yeah, god. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Wish we had these when Silverman died. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, Tor, putting your hand over these stones and sensing the magical energies within, um, you detect something like, like a wet blanket being thrown on this hot coal. And... You trace that wet blanket back to yourself. To myself? Yes. So whatever was happening with this necklace stopped because of me? You can still detect magical energies within. It's not like throwing an entire bucket of water on the flames, but they are slightly quenched. Does this give me, can my arcana also give me any more insight on how the actual necklace itself works? That would be a separate roll. Hmm. Can I make that separate roll per chance? Yeah, can't just say per chance. Per chance. Your chance. What the hell? What the hell? One second, I'm sorry. You're good. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to search through that wet, wet blanket um, muddies your ability to probe deeper. You still detect the distinct flavor of Lumisian magic, but you cannot gain any new insight into this. What happened? This thing, it's unstable. We, it's a ticking time bomb. Whatever was happening it. with it, whatever is happening with it, it stopped because of me of you i'm i <laughs> i listen i'm as confused as you but i i still can't find out anything about what this necklace does but whatever it was going to do it stopped and apparently i had a hand in it so i am going to take a more active hand in saying that we should get rid of it before it bites us in the ass I agree. Well, if you're the thing muting it, then why would we separate it from you? It's not... It's not like I stopped it. I I didn't stop the gears from turning. I was a... a wet blanket over hot coals. Eventually, the coals will heat up the blanket and it'll burn away. If we want to keep it, we're on a time limit until whatever was about to happen, happens again. So it's your call, but my vote is to ditch it in the dirt. Nemo, can I roll, uh, can I uh, send you a question really fast? Yeah, go ahead, of course. Well, that's happening. Uh, I'm gonna say that Il Mate is kind of a heavy sleeper, so he kind of slept through the first half of that, but he, he's been stirred up everyone, now. Everyone fled the car to Mote was snoring. <laughs> He's like, me, 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 me. Yeah. <laughs> um, Zephyr, what's it called? Zephyr looks like, um, visibly like concerned, but she's still not really saying anything. Um, she looks like she agrees with, with Tor, though, that, that they should get rid of it. Just kinda, like, is gonna nods. walk up. You go, Kaburi. No, that's it. I just okay. said that she nods. Okay. Elmote is gonna walk up. And he's gonna ask. Let me see that for a moment. Be careful. And he'll 
hand the necklace or, over. Or was Zephyr's also gonna be like, be very careful. Is Zephyr steps back a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Everybody takes a step back as he hands, as Tor hands it to him. Have I ever seen or read anything about this, something like this before? Uh, one moment. Sorry, I'm, I'm DMing him. You're hogging the DM. <laughs> I know, right? Wait, you're DMing him? Nemo, you're playing in a campaign while you're DMing for us? What the Don't fuck? Don't worry about it. What the heck, Rowan? You started the I Promise the Server Icon Isn't Permanent campaign yeah. again? Excuse me. Dude, I want to start that so bad again, but I'm just I've so nervous. i waiting for almost do two it. years. Please do it. I I'm just like so Grog again. <laughs> I miss Grog so much. <laughs> okay, uh, what was your question? So I, I took the necklace to further inspect it. Have I ever seen or read about anything akin to this? Yeah. Um, this is something that you would recognize from your time in Lumisia. Um, these charges... Uh, aren't incredibly common, but they're not rare either. Me mechanically, I will say that it is um, a fire starter, really. It can be used um, to start a fire through the, the magical means of... Shut up, shut up. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> It can be used in the utilitarian capacity of just starting fires. It's a utility item. <laughs> but on top of that, it can be used uh, as a weapon. Um, in the case of the ship, the oil was the main vessel of the explosion itself, but it could still cause quite a bit of <clears throat> fire damage. <laughs> Not the clearing throat before. <laughs> if you will. Ahem. It would almost be like your enemies would go up in a ball of <laughs> fire. <laughs> I hate it here. Dude, when I was talking about Zephyr being associated with gaslighting and being like... And being like, yeah, Zephyr was a great gaslight. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> so... Have, would I know anything about it malfunctioning in the way it just did with sizzling? Um, you could roll Arcana. Sure. Give me one second. I'm also going to hide this. Hey, where's the uh, magical items catalog? It should be pins, and I think it was supposed to be pinned. Oh, we pinned so much stupid shit in general. <laughs> I, I um, put some, my rolls in monologues. I am going to say that it isn't a problem you've heard of. Hmm, okay. So, he's gonna, like, inspect it and, like, hold it up to the light and whatnot. And he's gonna get, like, a quizzical look on his face. Well, I've s seen this before, but... Never seen it do that. No. And it back. Oh, goody. It's, an, it's a new problem. <sighs> I'm... I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, we could keep it. Uh, we could figure it. out what is I worry is if happening. it falls into the wrong hands. I don't care if it falls into the wrong hands. I don't want it to activate and come after you, Zephyr. I'm oh. not thinking about the world. I'm thinking about you. I've been running from that thing my entire life. I can keep on running. If it activates somewhere else, it'll at least be away from me. I think that might be the problem, Zephyr. Uh, what if we buried it? If it doesn't guys, have air, fires can't start. I don't think you guys understand. The problem isn't the necklace, per se. The problem is the thing following Zephyr. 
um she kind of she kind of grips like her her backpack straps and kind of tenses if if we got rid of the necklace it would just find another one and i don't mean like another necklace like a copy of this i mean it'll find another vessel that it can make fire with whatever is following zephyr it clearly has some sort of control over fire that uh we don't understand and <laughs> some kind of way to travel between flames I mean, I don't think you guys have seen it since the ship, right? But No, I've not seen anything like that before. But considering I've mostly been on the water, it hasn't necessarily posed an issue. Now, this is the first time Ilmo Tay's hearing of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Nemo, does Ilmo Tay know anything about what they're talking about? You have no fucking idea. You don't know what they're talking about, but Zephyr looks visibly so fucking, like, tense and uncomfortable. Yeah, Tor is still a little bit shaken up from his dream, so he's kind of looking at this thing like he wants to fucking Eldritch Blast it. Mm -hmm. He looks very confused slash concerned, but I think he's going to address this later. Mm. <sighs> That's the party motto. <laughs> Um, and Zephyr kind of walk, kind of, Zephyr kind of like turns to them and is like, listen, let's just bury it and get it over with. Yeah, I, um, I don't think it'll help in the long term, but for the short term, I don't want to blow up while we're sleeping. So let's I really don't. Uh, fucking pick a direction, march a hundred paces and bury it in the ground. As long as it's not by the trail, I think that's our best bet. It's not like anything else is really going to catch fire here. We're on yeah. a desert. It's not, like, it's not like we're being followed, right? <laughs> Nobody's... As soon as he says that, Tor's going to kind of get yeah, paranoid. I, and he's gonna make I feel like Tor kind of squints at Tor a little bit. Um, you it's like, And you see, what's it called? You see Zephyr just kind of silently, like, I think, start like walking in some direction towards like, like Ill and just kind of like pass Ill and then just start walking that way. Port will, yeah, Port will take it. Like, Holy not shit. following Zephyr, but, like, like I don't want to follow Zephyr and be like, yeah, I'm following you with this, but, oh, all right, I guess you know if we're being followed or not. But, yeah, like, Port will go off the trail and try and find a, like, distant <laughs> enough place to bury this. Are we being followed? With a, the nat 20 with a nat 20, in general, you slowly scan the distant horizon, not just behind you, but to the sides as well. Looking out of the corners of your eyes, where you are best suited for night vision and detecting motion, you slowly scan, looking for black against dark blue. And after a while, you're satisfied that there's nothing following you. We're good. The only Very thing following the party moving. is guilt. <laughs> yeah. 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 I um, think someone's trying to sell me something. <laughs> <laughs> I need to draw. I need to draw that later. <laughs> um, and then Zephyr... it's the flame hiding behind a rock, like boy, <laughs> he was onto us. Boy, he was onto uh -oh. us. <laughs> Quick note, Nemo. I put the PDF for the same magical prices. Can you just slap a pin on that so I? We don't oh my god, it. please. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I think someone's trying to sell me it's, it's fucking fireball. Silver it's Silverman's dead body with his fucking tray from the first session on behind a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rock that crushed it. Stop. What is that from? I think somebody's trying to sell it. It's from SpongeBob. Something. It's from SpongeBob. <laughs> um but yeah, Zephyr is just now walking in a direction and 
just kind of I don't think I don't think she knows where she's going. She's just aimlessly walking now. Yeah, Port's going a different direction than Zephyr because she doesn't feel it's appropriate to like follow Zephyr and then bury this. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> like that that feels like taunting. Yeah. And um yeah, I think she'll uh, just kind of like um be. she'll just kind of I mean who is she to say otherwise? She'll just dig a fucking hole and uh Watch me dig this hole of this traumatizing thing for you. Do any of you have a shovel? No, I think. Well, actually, I don't sand. know, but I feel like the, yeah, Port would. Yeah. Sand. I'm just curious. I don't think Port has a shovel, but it's sand, so what I don't think it would be too. What is the fucking necklace gonna do? Is it gonna? Is it gonna? Oh, is it Wait, gonna, like, I actually do have a shovel. <laughs> oh Are you fucking yeah. serious? I'm I, dead fucking serious. Right. I have a shovel. Mote, Good. You guys don't have to get the rebreather now. <laughs> Shut the what? fuck up. <laughs> oh god damn it! All right, so I, I have to go to the cave again. Il Ilmote will uh, take out his shovel and hand it to whoever is going to be burying the necklace. Yeah, I feel like Port will like help the best she can, but yeah, yeah. Tor is on lookout duty, and if Zephyr tries to walk off, he will keep an eye on her <laughs> so that she doesn't just start fucking running away. Yeah, she doesn't seem like she's running away. She seems, I think, right now, um, she's going to kind of be scouting for anything nearby. Um, Fair and valid. It's always fun to split the party. Mm -hmm. After some time, you dig a hole. Uh, a foot or two deep, I would say, probably, right? Six feet deep. We are taking chances. <laughs> Uh, and you toss the Lumisian artifact in and cover it back up in such a way that you don't think anyone will be able to spot it. Um, Zephyr, after a while, comes back towards the rest of the group. Hey. Hi. You find anything? Sand and more sand. Good. Same on my end. Nobody's trailing us. Yep. Oh, now my mom trying to call me. Give me like five minutes to tell her I'm in D&D. <laughs> I, can, I can sense it. <laughs> I'm gonna take those ten backflips in a row. <laughs> Roll acrobatics. Um. No. <laughs> Stop. You see you see Zephyr kind of she like sits down in the sand and starts like drawing in the sand with her finger. Um just like squiggles and shit and, and starts just drawing like spirals and stuff. Mm. Uh Tor will turn towards Ill and go So where are you taking us? Hmm. A good question. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? That, that, was, that, was, that was me as a player saying that. A wise <laughs> old man to slowly. I want to wait. I want to wait. For, I want to wait for Rowan to get back before I answer that. Dude, in the fucking from the from the place where the amulet was buried, a fucking old wizard crawls out. Oh, An excellent no question. question. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm back. Oh, she was back. worried because my sister didn't text and she got home, and so she was like. You have life 360, right? Can you check on her? And I go, yeah. And I checked, and she's in a fucking Trader Joe's. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I love Trader Joe's. Should yeah, I repeat the question? What? Oh, so where are you taking us? Back to the library. The, the library. library has a what would the word be primary location, location? like <laughs> yeah yeah the world's library mm -hmm. <laughs> picking at fingernails completely disinterested yeah i heard you <laughs> <laughs> Like, if you had to, like, place a finger on a map. Fuck, hold on. I need to fucking remind myself where it is. Pulling up the map. 
Look at this guy. Oh my god, you're gonna make me say it. Balls? <laughs> Is it in balls? Balls. Why would you say it? Now he doesn't have to, you asshole. Oh, I'm still gonna say it. <laughs> oh. I, uh, why do you think that would stop him? Currently, we're located in balls. <laughs> so we'll, I'll be taking you to a port. No, port's right there. <laughs> Let me post this on bots and rolls so for, for this for the spot. Um, oh, but we can buy passageway. Zephyr seems no, to kind of light up at the at the um I've, the heat that covered. they're that, that the, the hearing that they're making it to um the midlands now. I feel like Port gets a little happier knowing that she's gonna be reunited with her ship soon. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is stored in the balls. <laughs> uh, yeah, ship-wise, I think Port's got you covered. Oh, well, that's convenient. Um, yeah, quite. Zephyr gets up and walks over and uh, says, So, what are we doing now? What's our plan? Do you report oh. back to Greenwich? What is there to report? That we failed? I don't know. That we lost someone? That his son is an evil beekeeper? Just like Nim. <laughs> it's like Nim! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 evil beekeeper, uh, Ilmate is gonna raise an eyebrow at that, but he's not gonna say it. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna. I like he's gonna. The party traumas and being like, oh god. He's gonna interject and say, "Why don't you all deal with that a little later?" And for now, we'll just be on our way. Don't take us to the ports. We have my ship in a beach by the town. We'll head that direction. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Well, we've already been heading in the opposite direction for a day now. Oh. We have. But the beach was by we the have? actual town, right? We had to hit there first. Well, we were so we were we came from Dirtmouth, and was Dirtmouth the town we came? We draw started from. Draw draw a path on the map. Of where? Of what? Of like where you you've been headed to, and where you are right now. <laughs> I me? don't know where we are. No, so, oh, you said so, draw, it, not rolling. T card. <laughs> yeah, give me one second. Hold on. I need to fucking scroll up in our DMs to find it. Figure it out, Rowan! <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> where, where did we discuss it? I feel like we talked about it in voice chat, so we don't I don't have it fucking written down anywhere. Hang on, hang on. I know we yeah, posted well, on. I'm gonna draw something, I mean, you tell it? me if it's right. Okay. I think I think I, I didn't think we were in balls, to be honest, as the DM, but... We're not in balls. Okay, we're... we're in Penta. Oh, right! I said the wrong location. All right, it's not balls. Oh, but knowledge could have so been stored in the balls. I forgore. I Where forgore. are we going, then? Uh, it's... Uh, I'm just gonna say out of care, it's Nova. Okay. Well, so okay, I I remember there. I remember the hang up Nemo. So I I came hmm. from I, I we were the camp is in Nova, and we went to Balls, and then I from Balls is when I went to Venta. Okay, and then I take back what she said about perking up, and instead, when she hears that we're going to Nova, you hear her kind of um shrink again. So okay, does this look like the this looks right, right? Well, no, we weren't. Oh, I wasn't planning on going by land. I was planning on going to Balls, meet up with the rest of the group, and then head back to the main camp. Okay, so so like, so you're you're planning on crossing the ocean. Yeah. The ocean. Like this. So. Yeah, pretty much something like that. Okay, cool. Uh, I was basically gonna try and like skip through Venta since. It's yeah, clear I was that gonna they say, do not want to probably... be through here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, and maybe I should, the full capabilities of my ship, but... <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I just assume at some point it shows up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think Port you... trusts that knowledge this exact same way, I don't think she <laughs> understands her ship as anything other than, that's my buddy. 
That's my buddy. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. My body As a creature, here. like, she knows it's like a living creature, but she also is like, yeah, no, it just does what it wants. He's just mm. a little guy. Um, I Zephyr. It could get any worse when our boat burned down and we were <laughs> stranded at sea. Then I realized we were currently on a creature. Um, a Zephyr. Right? Zephyr, after hearing that, that we're going to, like, Nova now and kind of sighs and puts her hands, her, her head in her hands, and says, So the library is at Nova. I. Oh, I will be stopping off at Balls first. Oh, fucking course it is. <laughs> <laughs> what I, have I, hate, I hate you, Nima. Name? Okay, listen. Look at how many ones I didn't make a ball. fucking meme. Look at how many I, I, I held my tongue for, alright? Yeah, it's yeah, not my you fault you just so happened. Jason. Oh yeah, do we just so happened to is get an event in infiltration plot. Ooh, who could have predicted that the country that you wrote would be where we put ourselves? We you decided to go there. You could have gone hey. to Polynesia. Actually, I'm the one that decided can, to go there. Can I ask a question, Nima? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> is Venta the country? I feel like this is such a reach, so I, I like a stretch. So like, you know, let me know. But like. Is Vento the country that's like has the whole spy plot because in fucking Among Us you vent as an imposter? No, but that's really okay. funny. That's really I funny. I was like, I don't think so, but I feel like I have to check now that I've been thinking Nemo. about it. Nemo, wouldn't do Nemo, that, would Nemo, 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 I was looking at her fuck Nemo, I was looking at her DMs to find the image, and I see the fucking screenshot I sent you of what happens if my character wild cheeps while pregnant? Does the child have druid levels while attached? Stop. <laughs> Help. Uh, really the funny. child have true love. I don't want it. The, the, the red X is where the, the main camp is located right now. Um, you see, you see Zephyr kind of, I think, That's quite a trip. You see, Zephyr, like, Zephyr kind of frustratedly just kind of, um, I'm trying to think of what what the word is like. Like rub her eyes and then just like throw like her fists a little bit and then like go back to the cart and just sit in it. I fucking well. I... Never mind. Go ahead. I don't know if I can say this. We've go ahead. got we've got a long voyage ahead of us. So let's just get in the cart and let's just keep moving. The further we are from this necklace, the better. Yeah. Let's go for now. Do we need to pick up anything from a store before we go on the sea? I do How want to pick up something. How much gold do we have? I've been wanting to pick up something ever since I thought about it and got the okay from Nemo. That is true. How much gold do you guys have? I have... Where's my fucking um. money? 213 gold. I've got 24. Port. That's your age. Um, I have... 230 and 7 silver. <sighs> but no silver men. We've, <laughs> we've got zero silver men in the party. Uh, so we've got like a little under 450 gold between all of us. Maybe a little over. So, we should restock on health potions, one for each of us, right? Yeah. I mean, like, we would have died there without those health potions, so they're oh, basically yeah. a necessity. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Silverman did die there, and that's because he didn't have his health potion. I hope so, you're not- I, I, sin I sincerely hope I for your sake that you're not saying this in character. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, so Tor has a very distinct state speaking voice. God. Okay, that's fair, but I'm, I'm used to people who don't, so sometimes I forget. <laughs> Dude, that's fuck so it. Oh, yeah, Silverman died because he didn't have his health motion, guys. I'm bringing this up in the middle of our travels. Ugh, how much is a fucking normal healing potion again? Like, gold. really fucking expensive. But, like, so, I mean, because it is a healing 200. potion. So, how much for a really expensive healing potion? 150. So, we definitely can't... We don't have 600 gold, so we can't get a greater healing potion for each of us, which sucks. So, um, we could just get 
multiple potions of heal. Oh, how much money if do only, we want to spend? If on only we potions? had a cleric. Looks at Ilmote wishfully. <laughs> wishfully. We'll never know. No. Nemo, yeah. put us oh, in rocket. combat. No. No. <laughs> As you fight your enemies, a rock falls from the sky. And I don't forget. Don't ahead. forget. We're doing. Don't and forget. We decided last time we did it. shopping that we're gonna shop after the session. Okay. Yeah. Know, let's I just know, shop I after. I, uh, but we do we want health potions? We'll, we'll decide that after, after the session. That's, That's the whole point of deciding it afterwards. <laughs> Not us saying the same bullshit. All right, so we we start heading out again on the yeah. car. Yeah. And we'll like, I mean, the most of we're probably gonna get is like potions and stuff, but we'll update you, obviously, Nemo. Yeah. yeah. Shop, shop, shop RP for after session. Yeah, or not not even our feet. It's just shop decisions after, after yeah. decision. Yeah, because we go insane if we do it. The shop roleplay is the biggest thing that could ever detract us. It does, yeah. Almost as bad as and food RP. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jinx. Well, only one it's... of us has an issue with that. Hey, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you find a gigantic sausage in the middle of the road. Woo! <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Um, yeah. Zephyr, uh, what's it called? Zephyr this time is sitting closer up to the front near Ill, and um, what's it called? Just kind of looking about as they travel. Um, as you climb back into the into the cart, um, I I'm gonna say that that's what you guys do, right? You guys have been yeah. just riding yeah. for a bit yeah. here. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're right. Let's go. go. Uh, the sun begins to rise, and I'm gonna say you all have trouble getting back to sleep. Um, eventually, you arrive at a small, small town. Um, there is no dock here, but there are seaside, and there are a few small fishing boats. Dragged up onto the shore. I have to go be up here back. Is it big enough that Port's ship could, uh. <laughs> could um, just my pull ship up? generally needs a little bit of privacy given that it's a fucking creature, but sure, I'll call it up in a fucking dock full of people. Dude, who's gonna care? Who's gonna care? We get in the boat, we leave. Nobody's gonna be like, huh, we should chase after them. Oh my like, guys, look over the there at that sandstorm. <laughs> uh, so as we approach, so we're we're not really I'm not really seeing any like big ships or anything in the water, right? Just fishing boats. Yeah, just fishing boats. So uh, where is the uh the ship? I like. I feel like Port has some sort of established like whistle because yeah, I also yeah. made her motif whistles for several reasons. But Do like, I, I like the I. I as a person can't whistle, so like it, I can't do this. But like, imagine a really cool whistle. Yeah, it's either it's either the, the fucking Zelda horse whistle. You guys know Something the horse whistle. Something like that, except just for I'm a back, giant what did I miss? fucking. We're whistling or, for my boat. But it would also be fucking awesome if it was the it was the sailor whistle. What happened? What happened? I honestly don't even know the sailor whistle for someone who it's plays like a pirate. The, I don't know. It's like shit. that. Like that. Hold on, I'm. Oh I'm, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I, I'm googling. Hold on. What Google. happened? Yeah, just something like that. But like, like imagine she just has like something like that. She whistles the entirety through the fire and the flames. <laughs> no! <laughs> she's, she's playing a tune. Yeah. You're like, are you calling the boat? She's like, no, I'm having fun. My Spotify broke. Um, so, so what's going on right now? I was pissing. I'm, I'm calling for my ship. Okay. Um... Zephyr is, I, I assume, gotten out of the, the cart at this point. I think we um, all are. Yeah, and yeah. So I'm just kind of, I think she was yeah. the last to get out, though, and she's just kind of, she looks so fucking tired. I don't think, I, she, didn't, she didn't go back to sleep. Um, after some time, you're going to hear yeah. a distant whistle back. I imagine, like, from the ship, it's something, like, obviously, you know, 
it's a creature, but like you know how like dolphins have those kind of like keen cries. Yeah. It's kind of kind of whistly, like in the little clicks. Yeah. I like the idea that the ship makes something akin to those noises. Yeah. 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 And like Ugh, port just I whistles don't... right back. It's like her hers is obviously more distinctly human, but like you know. Yeah. I'll kind of nudge Ilmote with my elbow, and I'll go, get ready. You don't get used to it. Um... <laughs> He's witnessed it once! <laughs> you see... the surface of the water start to swell and bow out as... as if birthed from the very sea itself. A full ship begins to emerge from the water. And you can see gallons and gallons of water sort of sliding off of it to the sides, thundering into the water around it. And then you see it. Caveat Emptor. I love her. As Ilmote sees this, he's just gonna go, huh. <laughs> or has been admittedly through the grief, a little morbidly curious if, uh, if Ilmote's library had known about, like, caveat and, like, the general, like, rumors that surrounded the monster ship. So she just kind of, like, turns to him and does, like, the, the index finger over the mouth and the shh, and then just walks towards the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Ilmote will say, I thought it'd be bigger. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Zephyr snorts at that. Oh, look at him and go, wow, you know it's rude to say that in front of the person, right? <laughs> I'm gonna take a and walk on. Zephyr just can kind of, kind of continues laughing as she gets on. Yeah, yeah. So the, the ship weakly drags itself onto the shore. Uh, its limbs not suited for the land. Uh, yeah. and you guys... The fucking whale. Trying to beat yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys, uh, crawl up to the side of it on, uh, waterlogged, um, rope ladders hanging from the side. Or will also help anyone if they need, like, help up. Like, I'm assuming this is something she's very accustomed to. Yeah. And then, with uh, a deep groan that you can feel in your chest, the boat pushes itself back into the water and turns itself around. You're now off the shore and ready to set sail. <sighs> Now, do you guys want to talk, or are we just gonna spend this entire sea trip on uh, just silent? And she kind of um, rubs the back of her neck awkwardly and is like, "What do we talk about?" I mean, each other. I mean, we've only known each other for like what two weeks. She kind of she kind of looks at you with this like this like a little bit of this bewildered expression. She's like, I just shared something that I've literally never shared in my entire life out of fear. And you expect me to open up more? I'm going to bed. I mean, I'm not going to push you to, but we do have someone completely new in this like little group of ours. And we. And why would I tell him them. anything? I don't know him. And kind of like, standing run, there. like looking around. No, he's like looking around at the ship, taking it all in. He's very <laughs> curious about this. Yeah. He also doesn't know he's you. He's also taking he notes. You I'm can't taking notes. People to open up. Port like smacks the fucking like quill. I like can't. It. It's supposed to be a mystery. <laughs> he, he's he, he's holding up his hand. Yeah, he's like taller than her, so he's like riding above where she can smack it down. She's not short, but I just I don't know. I picture him as a taller guy. Well, no, no. no. If you went to smack it out of his hands, I mean, like he would like do his like his like hands up surrendering kind of thing. Oh my god. <laughs> she wants the um, mystery preserved. She doesn't want this in the fucking library. <laughs> Zephyr, Zephyr, kind of. Write she's, it down still, later. she's still talking, yeah, but she's totally also will. she's also walking to like the like the bunkers, and she's like, I don't care about opening up or anything right now. I just want to sleep. You know what? Go sleep. It's your choice. And um, she she just goes to the rooms. 
Ford, I think, will just kind of take up, like, I don't imagine Kavya actually needs steering, but Port still constantly spends a lot of time at, like, the wheel. Because I think it's Captain just become LARPing. so... Yeah, well, no, it's not LARPing. <laughs> 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 just yeah, making, LARPing. making race, uh, race car sounds at the wheel. It's not plugged in. <laughs> I feel like for Port, it's definitely one of those, like... This has become, like, on other ships, this was, like, a spot where she liked to be because just being able to, like, steer and feel in control meant a lot to her. So even while it doesn't need it, this is where she goes to hold her conversation, or where she went to hold her conversation with the ship. She's not talking to the ship in front of anyone else. That's just embarrassing. So she just kind of, like, <clears throat> assumes the position and doesn't think anyone's going to call her out, like, hey, this is a creature. I don't actually need to be doing that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you just, I, I'm gonna say okay. You carefully steer the ship. Um, mentally. If picturing... someone comes with her, she will like talk to them. Obviously, yeah. but like if it seems like we're all just kind of branching off, like she'll take her safe space. Yeah, yeah. Mentally picturing the map. Um, you you know the route now and you carefully pilot across the path that'll take you guys where you need to go I think at some point during the journey uh, Ilmote will walk up to port and ask so what's a legendary pirate doing uh, in Venta I didn't even want to come here. This place was my last decision. <laughs> Everyone else wanted to go, though. We had business here. We were trying to do a job and retrieve a kid. Jump we didn't. For who? Someone on Birch Rock. His son was kidnapped and we were looking to retrieve him but uh I mean his son's the reason <laughs> we couldn't do a lot back there so why'd he hire you lot because we were there and willing and Venta's extending its reach into every place so somehow a bunch of outsiders become the most trustworthy not because we're the most capable, but because we're the least likely to put a knife in his back. Hmm. He'll, he'll like, pro take a moment to, like, process that information for a little bit. I mean, clearly we weren't the most capable. What makes you say that? Because we lost someone. That doesn't mean you're not capable. I wasn't quick enough. And sometimes you never will be. That was the only time it mattered. I'm trying to think of what to say next to that. Mm -hmm. Or we'll kind of pause and be like... Perhaps this is a bit of a sensitive question, but... Do you have family? He will nod his head. The person we lost was my brother. Uh, he will... After hearing that, he will look down and sor look sorrowful. It's the most important thing to me. <laughs> I felt he that still pain is. before. She kind of looks a little inquisitive. Like, she's clearly upset and kind of tearing up, but, like, she's giving him the floor to speak on it if he wants to, but not kind of pushing for it either. I don't think he's going to speak about it just yet. Understandable. She won't push, but she wanted to give the opportunity because he's listening to her. 
I don't even know what to do next. Sometimes you just gotta push forward through all the pain and hardship. I you know that much. You. I've pushed through so much. But I've always pushed through it having an idea of what I wanted to do or where I wanted to go or just where I didn't want to be. I don't know what to do. So if you take us to that library, I'll follow, but I wouldn't bank your hopes on me contributing that much. I have a lot of seafaring knowledge, but I kind of suck at the mainlands. That's kind of proving itself. You'll, like, lean back against a wall or whatever, and he'll probably sit in silence for a little bit. He'll kind of, like, just let him stay. Poor occasionally, like, I feel like steering for her is not actually steering, but, like, kind of talking to the ship directional. She doesn't, like, she won't actually hold, like, important conversations with the ship if anyone's around, but she'll kind of give directions in the way she, like, doesn't actually know if the ship understands, but hopes that they do. Yeah, yeah. It just, like, oh, this has been something she's always done, and she doesn't know if it's the reason the boat knows where to go or not, but that's, like, that's what she does. That's yeah. her thing. Fuck yeah. Do I, do I get the impression from Port that she's trying to like keep herself together right now oh absolutely like port had these kind of brief moments of grief and crying but there's definitely still that sense of like she feels like she has to have it together i mean like outside of her one cry she hasn't let herself grieve and even at times she's trying to push herself to this kind of weird normalcy and I think he'd pick up on that, considering the way he found her was that very vulnerable grieving state. Okay. So uh, uh, after he sits in silence for a little bit, he he's taking the time to like, watch port work, looking at like her body language and everything. And he's gonna say, you don't need to pretend to be strong. You owe him that much. I owe him a lot more than that. Acting numb to your pain is only setting yourself up to feel it worse. I would know. Feeling that pain now is to mm. feel how much he loved you, how much he meant to you, and to acknowledge how much you loved him. Denying that pain right now is denying your bond with him. I know that you're hurting, but you're not letting yourself grieve. With all due respect, there's no time to grieve. There's just... Nothing... No time to stop. If you keep going without stopping, eventually... You're going to run out of path. And I'm sure that he wouldn't want that for you. I'm sure he didn't want me to leave in the first place, but... I mean... I don't always get what we want. Right now, the best I can do is protect what... who... managed to survive. I owe that much to them. I hope that includes yourself. Has it ever? It should. Perhaps. But I didn't pick up the sword for my name. Well, it doesn't change the fact that you've picked it up. It 
Do you know what you fight for? He will think about that for a little bit. Fight for knowledge from my family, for people that are unable to do so for themselves. But you don't fight for you, do you? In protecting these things, I'm fighting- I am fighting for myself. Because I can't protect those things if I'm not here to do it. Well, I'm still here. And I hope we'll keep it that way. I don't have any intentions to go anywhere if that's what you're worried about. If I did, I wouldn't have made it this far out in the first place. We'll kind of lean back again in silence. <coughs> Do me a favor and look out for them, too. You will nod his head. Of course, I'm going to look out for all of you. I won't pretend that it isn't <laughs> a little wild that you just want to help for nothing in exchange, but we're not in a position to say no to that, so thank you. And that also comes with the fair note that should this eventually lead to some act of betrayal, you will be facing me first. Well, I don't That's plan not... on betraying you, but I'll keep that in mind. But I look forward to working with you. Sorry, you really just said my mom came in my room. No worries. She said, then I look forward to working with you. And I with you. And on that note, he will probably leave Port alone. Yeah, I think that's like an, a good place for them to... Yeah. Except for that's your cue to, to do something funny. Well, for me to do something funny? Yeah. Um, backflip, do a backflip. Do a Zephyr backflip. Zephyr I... comes up with like a clown nose and is like, hey, I found this. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. When we, when we first got on the caveat emptor, what was that thing that we fucking threw in the air to like catch with our mouths or something? Is it crab? Crab. crab? Was it crab? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Zephyr, uh, you hear, you hear some kind of, um, loud noises coming from the kitchen. Oh no. It looks like it all like... of us are like, just... I, 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 I roll a perception how loud? check. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how loud are these noises? It sounds like, it's, it's not like pots and, like, pans banging, but it's rummaging, you know? Uh, so I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd say... <laughs> I'd say everybody make a perception check. It's either gonna go really well or really badly. No in between. Can't wait to roll like a fucking 10 when I said 19. no in between. 19. Oh, oh god here. damn! I hear fucking everything apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Who's messing with my ship? <laughs> <laughs> I feel- I sense a disturbance. <laughs> um, That's exactly yeah, so fucking funny. Are you gonna go investigate that or- uh, um, yeah, I mean, the ship doesn't actually need steering, which makes it yeah. really easy to just be like, that's something, that's a weird sound. Yeah. Um, so do you, do you go over to the kitchen to take a peek in? I mean, apparently I can track you down by sound, so yeah. I guess so! <laughs> <laughs> um, like, highly percentage, so she gets, like, fucking echolocation off of, yeah. like, just Jesus. vibrations of, like... <laughs> I can Rummaging. see you in my brain, like like Literally. an episode, of, like an episode of, of Avatar: The Airbender. Yeah, it's just like toe. It's like toe. It's just like toe. I thought you said toe. Top. That's basically yes. what their name was. It's like toff. 
Everybody you said like, Sir Dog, you said Toph in the show. Sir Dog anyway, said Toph. They call her Toph. They, they call her Toph. I'm, I'm not going They do not, not call her Toph. Oh, Sir Dog is gaslighting. I'm not getting into this. Is that I'm not getting into this. I'll show you later. I'll get a clip later. They don't they do not call Toe her that. Toe Soleil. Toe Um when you peek inside, you see a little a little bit um of a mess from the from the searching around that Zephyr was doing. And you see Zephyr in the middle of the kitchen um taking a swig from a small uh a small liquor bottle and uh she she looks at you and she's like, Hey old lady, what's up? I heard you rummaging. I was trying to find something to help me sleep easier. Well, you might be a little hard pressed for that on this ship. Let's see. Yeah, I found this, and she holds a small liquor bottle. Mm, might not be the best, and probably pretty old. Eh, it's better than nothing. Yeah, you could say that again. Um, she takes another swig and kind of, uh, leans against the wall. And is- and just like, kind of like, stops says like, <sighs> Fucking Nova, of course. You don't have to answer, obviously, but is there any, like, information I should know about Nova? Things to uh, look out for? All that? You seen the in-character? Yeah. Okay. Um, she kind of- <laughs> Sorry. Um, she kind of, uh, like, is like rubbing her, like, you know, like when somebody's like rubbing like their eyes and temples and like the stress way. Yeah. Um, she's doing that and she's like, and she takes like a deep breath before taking like another like swig. And, um, uh, I used to live there for a while before I went to Venta. I feel like I'm going straight back. I know it's not. I don't know. Maybe I just need some sleep or I'm paranoid. It feels like every step I take, I'm taking back. Yeah. I always liked it better on the sea than I liked it on the land. <laughs> um, she kind of laughs and she says, um, I already like it a lot better than the land. It's quiet out here. Yeah. Um, she will look at you and then offer you a swig of the bottle. <laughs> I mean, I as much as um as much as like poor I as a person think that like drinking while you're sad is wrong, um, port's not that yeah. kind of person. So she absolutely fucking start, starts taking a swig. She does not give a shit. Yeah. But I feel like I felt I, I needed to note that I as a person don't do that. Yeah. No, I got you. Um, and while <laughs> and while she's doing that, um, she kind of she kind of like fiddles with her with her um, hands. Is somebody fucking calling me? I don't know you. It's Everybody's mom calling keeps me. calling them. <laughs> Um, and oh, she... Let me call my mom. <laughs> Let's just get it out of the way. <laughs> um, she... She says this while not looking directly at you, and instead is kind of looking at the floor and says, Um... I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I just... She can't seem to, like, get the words. I just... I don't think Port... fully has the right words, either. These bitches bad at communicating and traumatize as hell. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, Port's These just like... traumatize as hell! Bad for them. Bad for bad them. For them. I don't think Port knows how to say what's on her mind currently, but she will be like... I remember when he was so small. <laughs> he was so... so smart. I 
never could get the grasp of magic, but it came so naturally to him. I... I couldn't do it. My mom was always so disappointed. She wanted better. I thought I was giving that to her when I left. He always had so much hope in his eyes. At least... I mean, I just wanted to preserve that. I used to pick fights with kids growing up. Because they would say bad things about him. My parents have the same hair color as me. He stuck out a bit. I <laughs> picked so many fights that one day I came home with this cut on my nose and never healed right. And she kind of like thumbs the the scar over the bridge of her nose. Mm -hmm. And she and she looks at you when when you're when you're saying this now. Yeah, and she's like, <sighs> mother was furious. I think she knew it wouldn't heal properly. She was mad that it reflected on the image of our family. It was proof that I didn't obey. And at the same time, I never regretted it because I, I mean, <laughs> I did it for him. Um, and she kind of rubs her hands together and, like, fiddling with her gloved hand. Um, she says, I'm sorry, this sounds <laughs> so horrible, but I envy you so much. I'd envy me, too, if I saw someone having a brother like him. <laughs> it's... I... I want you to know that it's completely understandable when I understand if you blame me. Why would I blame you? And she kind of um, winces a little bit and looks away. Um, before like turning back and saying um I was just as insistent that we should prioritize the mission first. Or it gets a little quiet because that wasn't the answer she was expecting. She thought it was going to be about the arrow. But the prioritization of the mission is something that actually bothers her. That's not yeah. the reason I blame you, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Poor pulls out a little notepad and starts writing down an extra thing on <laughs> reasons why I blame them. God. Um, well, no, that, like, I feel like if Zephyr said I was the one who fired the arrow, Port would be able to say, well, we told you to. But yeah. with this, it's not, she doesn't want to say it's okay because it's not okay. Yeah. But she also doesn't want Zephyr to drown in more guilt because, dear God, we've just been trying to stop that. Mm-hmm. So it's this mixed situation where she's like regretful that she didn't just go after him. Yeah. But she also is like, I didn't do it because of them. And she doesn't know how she feels about it, but she knows like, well, I chose them then. So like the least I can do is follow them to the end of the line now. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming that she's kind of stunned when, when she says that and doesn't really answer Yeah, she, she doesn't really answer for a bit. She's trying yeah, to find, like, the right way to it, be like, in, hey! <laughs> in, and in between that silence, um, she says, um, uh, I'm trying to think of something to say. <laughs> Brian, I, 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 I can't I look feel at like this, this fucking is, picture. This Grinding. is especially this more... Is awkward as hell. <laughs> No, I feel like this is especially even more awkward after, like, Zephyr has just learned that Port has never once not chosen Indigo. <laughs> like, yeah. her family got super mad about it, too, and she yeah. was just, like, constantly doing everything for him. Yeah, um, she, she, during that silence, she looks away and kind of, like, um, like, hugging her arms. She says, I was just assistant as a... Words. I was just as insistent that we should prioritize the mission 
and I this is not appropriate music. It is not. <laughs> All you should play the Sims 4 creation music. <laughs> it would be a, a bad fitting. Bum, bum, da, da, da. We good? Yeah. Okay. Um, and she says, I was just as insistent, and I. I can't help but feel so stupid for not realizing how much he meant. Not many people realized how much he meant growing up. Sometimes nowadays I wonder if I was the only one who knew. I think he was everything to me. But I'm glad you see it too. Um, just knowing that one person saw it too. And I didn't have to fight for that. It's not a bad feeling. Um, she doesn't really know what to say. It looks like she's she wants to say something, but instead she just continues. Uh, she takes another swig of the liquor bottle, which I think is by now empty. <laughs> yeah, between the two of them. Oh yeah. yeah. This conversation. <sighs> Does Port notice that Zephyr wants to say something? Yeah, it's, it's. I think it's kind of obvious. I know that Port didn't just push Ilmote, but that's because she didn't know him well enough to push him. Uh huh. <laughs> Can Port look at Zephyr and be like, "Whatever you're thinking, just say it." <laughs> I know it was a shitty older sister to him. You weren't. Why won't you just see how lucky you are to be that sister and to have that connection? I am lucky. I was the luckiest person in the world for everything I was afforded. Of course I know how lucky I am. I never doubted that. Um, I pushed him when he wasn't ready. You didn't. I didn't go after him when I should have. I keep letting him down. The only time I had his back was when I didn't know it was him. Um, she kind of, like, hugs herself a little bit tightly and says, um... My brain loves to just fucking blink during like, <laughs> the most important RP moments. I'm gonna shit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Me thinking of amazing lines to describe things like every other day. Yeah. Me on the D and D comes... day. <laughs> oh, oh. That's why I just write everything down. Real. I. Oh. And I still um, somehow blank. Brain aneurysm fart sound effect. <clears throat> um, oh. and she could, and she. <laughs> huh? First, that just sounded like a fart, actually. Um, she, uh, she looks at her feet, and she, I think she quietly says, I think I just want you to blame me. We don't always get what we want. And you can wrestle with that grief, too, but... I'm, I don't know the right words to say, but I do know this. No matter what happens, 
It's never going to be my goal to make you feel trapped the way you have. I don't care what happens. That's not the kind of person I want to be. For your sake and for mine. I'm not the best kind of person, but I'm trying not to be the worst. So... Even if you want me to blame you, I'm not going to manifest that kind of I feel like this is hard for her because she does kind of blame the circumstances of not going back to get him first but it's like that doesn't translate to like hating Zephyr in her brain either it's so complicated to her yeah yeah she wished, I think at its core she wishes she was more insistent on going to get him yeah um and she I think she says I'm sorry I let any of you get wrapped up in my shit. We're on a boat that is a creature that I whistled to call to a small trading port. <laughs> this is no longer your shit. At least yours is a cool fucking boat. <laughs> yeah. Kami, that's weird pretty cool. Mine is a weird fire thing that almost killed you. Yeah, and not that I want it to come back, but if it ever does, I'm not fighting it for you. I'm fighting it to get even. Mm, she she looks at you so fucking concerned. <laughs> she's like she 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 looks like she's she like her face is like say psych right fucking now. She looks like tails from tails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's like uh, don't do that, old lady. I've got plenty of scars. I don't think it's gonna give you just scars. But... I'm not letting that thing hurt you anymore. We've learned. It doesn't like water. <laughs> and um, right now we've got a lot of that. She... Um... She kind of straightens up, uh, one leaning against the wall now, and looks at uh, Port and says, I used to live in an orphanage in Nova. Is that where you grew up? It's part of where I grew up. I lived in two orphanages. One in Frender, one in Nova. It's where I went after I left to Lumicia. I'm, like, trying to see if Port would make, like, a- not, like, a joke, but, like, a joke. <laughs> uh, my fucking knee jerk for her was gonna ask which one was cooler. <laughs> don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> she kind of, like, looks like she's maybe trying to hold her tongue a bit, and then I was like... So which one was cooler? <laughs> she kind of snorts. Um... And... Uh, thinks, thinks for a minute, and I'm like... And she's like... They both sucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then she just gets kind of um silent. Not like not like super serious silent, but she but then she's like The last time I was in Nova, that orphanage I was at went up in flames. So no place feels really safe. But the same. Nope. What did you fucking say? What the sea? I thought like, you said the sea. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, and she. Zombies. <laughs> um, and she kind of, she kind of like snorts and is like, "Yeah, I." Even when I first got. Even when I first got on a boat, even even though I wasn't, you know. I didn't get to see this gorgeous view that we have right now. It still felt a lot more comfortable. Just, I think, being surrounded by water. A really nice place to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily... leave a lot for land, but 
It's, in its own way, very freeing. I'm so tired of land. I was very glad when I was able to get out of them. That's what started me on the seafaring. I still don't know what I want to do. Do any of them? <laughs> Except for maybe Il Mote. He's got his library. Yeah. I mean... It's like... Vague. I just want to stop running, but... How much more vague can you get? And how much... How realistic is that? It's... Not going to be... Easy to keep running, but... I hope that... One day, we won't have to. I think about that a lot. I can't guarantee anything, but... We can hope. <sighs> I'm not sleeping, am I? Yeah, as much as I wish I had actual medicine to give you, that's, uh... No, it's fine. Not what I used to keep. <laughs> I'm gonna go bug tour. <laughs> Mind if I join you? <laughs> You're welcome to. I'm sure I'm okay too. I like bugging him. He always yeah. seems I'm so concerned with the things we say. Like, what kind of guy does he seem like? I haven't talked to him that much yet. Rigid by my standards, but... I that's... think you're pretty rigid. Yeah, well... <laughs> Rigid by my standards, then. <laughs> um, she starts, uh, she walks outside of the kitchen and starts looking for Tor. Uh, Poor will grab Mote. She, she thinks it's funny if, I don't know if you have the bottle of liquor, if I have the bottle of liquor, if we, like, dropped it. But she, I don't know, I think there's this kind of, like, mischievous you part of Tor. Are you just carrying the empty bottle of, of liquor? I think, I think it's, I think it's funnier to her she carries it and lets him think that she drank it all. <laughs> <laughs> Like, a part of her kind of is just like, well, this guy has way too much shit together. We need to rough him up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, There's almost wait. security in feeling like she doesn't have to, like, hold the weight of everyone. Yeah, but uh, where is where is Tor right now? Uh, He's probably somewhere, like, top deck, just, like, looking out at the ocean. What time is it? It's uh, 7.22 EST. <laughs> I mean, uh, a little yeah, past well, midday. Okay, cool. After you guys uh, finish, let me know. I think I'm just gonna time skip you guys a week to just put you there. Okay, oh, we're gosh. almost done. We're almost done. Because that's how um, long it would take for you to guys to get to Nova. Port's gonna have taught you guys all, all sorts of sea shanties by the end of this week. It's gonna be the most miserable week, week for everyone involved. We're gonna have downtime. That's cool. Down I love yeah. downtime. Time um, to craft, everyone. <laughs> Right. Um, Who has materials? Zephyr, Zephyr starts ripping planks I, I assume, of wood I off of the that, boat. I assume, <laughs> I assume that Tor is like facing like um like back to everybody, correct? Or like just like looking out at the sea. Mm -hmm. She's gonna go over and try to surprise him, just like poke him on the back. I'm gonna make Fuck. a perception check. Okay, I'm gonna make a <laughs> really. You should make a stealth I'm gonna check. Make a check. I'm gonna make a stealth check. <laughs> What is my stealth again? I forgot. Uh, probably very like, high, your rogue. Yeah it's, yeah, it's seven. Plus seven? Oh, I miss rogue expertise. Well, there's literally oh, no geez. chance I, I meet that. So you're, so you're tapping him on yeah. the shoulder. What are you doing? Uh, I, I, I go up to him, like, very quietly, and I poke him directly in the middle of, like, of, like, like the upper, like, like back, I want to say. Awesome. You don't have a torso. Um... And, yeah. and no, 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 no. Like, oh, before, before she does that, she while she does that, she goes. Bleh. He will still make the same sound. <laughs> Do it again. I did. I, I was interrupting you. God. One more time. One more time for the people in the back. No, I, I, I hate it when you sneak up on me. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the stealthy one. I'm the rogue. Yeah, I have a plus four to stealth. He says, absolutely in character. 
And she's like, yeah, yeah. And she kind of leans on the railing, looking at the sea. Ugh. It's nice to be on the ocean again. <sighs> it actually is. It's pretty. Yeah. Nobody sneaks up on you here. You'll <laughs> glare at Zephyr. <laughs> Uh, she kind of like flicks his arm. That, why? That's funny. You know what? Fuck this. Five gold right now. I'll beat you in a game of war. I'm not playing war against you. Yeah, because I, you know I'll win. Mm. My strategy is unparalleled. She decides not to play. You just, want, you just want gold because he's trapped for cash. Somebody lose yeah. their backpack. Oh, I'm sorry. And whose fault is that? <laughs> I saved port. That's Ooh, all that she, matters. Oh, she looks a little. She, she looks a bit like uh, like hurt at that one actually. Oh shit! I meant that less in the it was your fault way and the more in the it was port's fault way. <laughs> She did I not like perceive. She did not perceive it like that. Behind them, Port is emphatically like waving this empty liquor bottle to Ilmose. <laughs> um, she she just kind of looks away, like at like at the sea, and then just kind of like clears her throat. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. Ugh, I didn't it's mean fine. you. It's I fine. meant Port, and I saved her anyway, so it's fine. And she kind of like rubs like the back of her neck, like awkwardly. Listen, don't think any of us blame you for anything that's happened because of that fucking fire demon. Uh, <laughs> she kind of groans. She's like, uh, why? I'm sorry. Did you not want to have a conversation or did you just want to come over here and you fucking push me off the other side of the ship? A little. Those are fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listen. I know this is something you think about because you constantly bring it up. We don't blame you for that. In fact, we want to help you with it. We Ugh. care about you. Oh, I know. It sucks to hear that people care about you, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes we don't get what we want. Sometimes we have to listen about how the people around us care about us. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to go look for more liquor. Uh, yeah, <laughs> fucking get me a bottle. Uh, she kind of just like flicks him off and before you guys like walk off to go get fucking drinks to drown out your sorrows uh, I'm gonna say, uh maybe uh maybe drinking away the problem is not the best idea or who oh, has an, a giant empty bottle of liquor that she's been <laughs> waving around while talking to him for the he, past he, like, he knows long. he knows that you're not drunk <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, but she's totally she's like being fun. a little shit. Yeah. Um, Zephyr, Zephyr Dude. crosses, Zephyr crosses her arms and is like, "What else are we supposed to do?" Ilmo says, "Like, Tori Port has problems, but not a drinking problem." <laughs> Tori will look at Ill and go, "I've held out for three weeks of this bullshit. I've earned at least one drink." You can have a sip. You know, oh, I used well. to have a bottle of alcohol. It was a nice big one, but somebody ruined it. Port oh, kind of looks at uh, Zephyr, and it's almost like this hope that Zephyr goes along with the joke and is like, are you old enough to drink, Tor? Yeah, <laughs> Nothing like a torso joke. To <laughs> and before Ill is here, Tor is the oldest person in the party. <laughs> Literally, but she thinks because he's short, it's funny to make fun of uh -huh. Yeah, dude, what are you, like seven? Yeah. What do you mean? I'm 24. I don't I'm believe older that. Than you two. Do you got an Wait, ID? Uh, I'm a little surprised here in this dude's 24. <laughs> Elmote is gonna join in. From you know, from my perspective, you're all a bunch of toddlers, so. Uh, well, how old are you I'll, then? I'll dis I'll disguise <laughs> self into Ilmote. <laughs> I'll disguise self into Ilmote and I'll go, to me, you all look like a bunch of toddlers. Shut up! <laughs> Very novel. <laughs> Is Port the only one who hasn't shared her age with the party, but she keeps conning other people out of their ages? Yeah. Fuck! Uh, yeah. Zephyr, Zephyr turns to Port and is like, How old are you, Port? Give me one second to verify uh, Port's age. 
<laughs> Actually, no, that's a good question. How old are you, Port? He's like 46. You're the, you're the old. 12. You're the only one who hasn't shared their age. He's like 78, old lady. I'm How do I know 21. you should be the one holding that? 21? Oh, wow. Wait, you're what? three years younger than me? Have I been the oldest person here this entire time? So Doc, I need you to know I have thought about this since you posted fucking Tor's age it's in so your funny. fucking description in November about how funny it is that Port has taken a big sister role for the entire party, including the person who is three fucking years older than her. I have been losing my mind about it's it so good. for months. t -Court has heard me lose my mind about this for months. <laughs> that is really funny, but also Sir, <laughs> Sir Dog the Youngest making yeah, himself yeah. the oldest. <laughs> I literally He's can't projecting. stop thinking about it. Zephyr. Sounds to me like your soul is projecting there, boy. Zephyr looks there's at- literally, There's literally lore reasons behind his age, and I, that is the funniest shit to me. Zephyr I'll looks at- have, Zephyr I've looks at fucking... porn, and- Zephyr looks at porn, like, and, like, 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 giggling. It's like, I'm still gonna call you old lady. Alright, but I'm still gonna call you a little brat. You've never called me that. That's new. Not to your face. As long as- oh. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Side note, Port has never called someone for ever. I, I don't know what's that. <laughs> I love lying and She's, deception. She acts all offended. As long as nobody calls me old man. What was that, old man? <laughs> I'll, do no. I'll jump off the ship right now. He's using reverse, <laughs> reverse psychology on you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Elba, wait, Elba tastes kind of something like, thank god they're not calling me old man. <laughs> no, Elba uh, tastes a party after, rocker. After, after, after Tor says that, like, <laughs> that he was jokingly gonna jump off the boat, he's gonna go, Actually, no, I'm out of here. I'll I see really you guys don't later. advise that. And he's gonna jump off the boat. Nemo, Are you? I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna DM you something really quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why not? Let's see. <laughs> Nemo, putting away all of his fucking campaign <laughs> How much fall damage do I take from hitting water? Double. <laughs> okay, one second, let me just check something. <laughs> this is gonna be such a good bit. For the record. Zephyr okay, like rushes over as, as, soon as, as soon as you fucking jump overboard. Um, no Mote would normally be concerned, but he's got a feeling that Tor's got something planned. Okay. <laughs> so you guys uh, peer over the edge. And you're going to see nothing in the water. And then, uh... And then Torso is gonna shove Zephyr from behind overboard! No, uh, you, you feel like a... <laughs> A light poke in your back, just like you did to him. Oh, you ass. Just smiling ear to ear when you do that. <laughs> oh, who's the stealth person oh, now? I know what he just did. <laughs> what did you do? This motherfucker misty stepped. <laughs> Guess who got misty stepped as part of their feet? It's me. Is that going what to if you're wearing anything? shoes? If you're wearing shoes, you can't use your feet. He's got a point. Oh, he's actually no. He's got a point. <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he left. He left his shoes on on the deck. He lost his shoes when dude, he saved Dude, wait, port. dude. The fucking shoe thing, but it's still <laughs> like the fucking witch from Wizard of Oz getting <laughs> oh, crushed no. by the house. Instead of the shoes, it's the IOU. <laughs> yeah. No. no! That's so sad! <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, um... God, I should've Zephyr. said that. I should've done that. Zephyr, Zephyr's like, is like... Zephyr's like, you fucking... You. Zephyr's brother. like, you fucking asshole, but she's she's grinning, like, ear to ear. Yeah, you can't compete with someone who can cast spells. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Can, you think can that you do this? prowess is based on and, casting and he's spells? Gonna, he's gonna turn into three people. Or well, what he's kind gonna of cast mirror imp. It's just it's just like two duplicates of himself that like split off from him. Actually, no, it's three duplicates of himself that split off from him. Can they all do actions, they're or all... are they just visions? They illusions. They're just, they're just illusions. 
Can I, uh, like, is it clear to tell which one's, like, a fake? No. Or... <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I assume that not instead. because that's the point of spell. They're all identical. <laughs> they move can with I, him and they... Can I slap one at random? Yeah, yeah. go for it. Uh, actually, uh, one second. Each creature, each time a creature targets you with an attack during the spell's duration, roll a d20 to I determine what, whether the attack is I wonder is what Nemo had planned for this, for this session. Yeah, me too. Is not what he had planned. Uh... Okay, so y roll your attack. Okay. I, I feel like she's not using, like, a blade, so it's just gonna be, like, an unarmed attack. Yeah, she's just, just trying to slap you. Ten. Uh, it it misses. You miss I don't even. even I don't even connect my slap. Yeah, no. Tor will swerve out of the way. Ooh, you can't hit me, can you? Can I do it again? Which one's real? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Keep trying. This is such a toxic spell. <laughs> Keep trying to slap you. One second. Seventeen. Okay, that one will... That one will connect, but let's see if it connects with a duplicate. <laughs> I hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't. Damn. As you as you swing at one of the uh, at one of the many tours in front of you, your hand will kind of go through his head, and then the the uh, the tour that you hit will dissipate. He'll turn to it you. It would and have go, been nothing better. Nice there would try. have been genuinely nothing better than a fucking tour teased her, and then <laughs> on our second try, she fucking slapped the shit out of him. Bet you wish you had that fireball spell now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. We're gonna regret right, burying I'm sick that. Of these games. Um, are we? Damn. Are we really? Yeah, we're gonna magic. miss out on the cool story beat. I wish I had. I don't the trauma? want the story beat. If the story beat explodes, the story's gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> well, yeah, so, that's what it was gonna do. Zephyr's gonna go over to to Ilmote. Just stand. That's what he expected. Watching, joining us. Yeah, just watching this fold out. He, he's smiling at the camaraderie, and he's gonna wave at you as you approach him. <laughs> he's, he's gonna do like one of those like quick waves, like one wave. And so you kind of like waves back, and then just stands near him, watching this fold unfold. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and time skip you guys now, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fair. In the distance, while you guys are watching from the distance, you hear like. So a week goes by since you guys said You skipped too far, we're in the boss fight, Nemo! Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! Gigantic B! Singular B! <laughs> Nemo's writing it! Nemo's writing it down! Big B! <laughs> the CB! Don't be ridiculous, you guys. That's not what the big bug is gonna be. We B! There's, there's a big bug? It's real? <laughs> Oh. Are the dead? Are the dead? Like, Don't be ridiculous. It's not gonna be that. And he's like crumpling a paper and throwing <laughs> it behind his back, frantically. Oh, centipede. Uh. Huh. Wait, did Nemo put that on or did someone else? We time skipped too far. That was Nemo. The Kraken. Anyway, the Kraken. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Such a good bit. <laughs> Uh, you, gotta, you gotta keep your players on their toes. You, they never know, you know? Oh, on their toes, yeah. huh? Like a feet? <laughs> you never know when Silverman's gonna get fucking hit by a rock again. <laughs> it could be soon. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe the ceiling is still falling on top of him. Legend has it. I, lo I love the idea that, like, nothing happens to us, but, like, Nebo, like, jump cuts back to Silverman and, like, another rock falls on <laughs> <laughs> Dude, two fucking rats fighting over his uh, his ear. Combat music. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucked up. Uh, anyways, it like it like cuts it cuts back to the fucking pistol. They're like trying to dig it out to like get cut their losses. And like they pick up the rock on him, but it slips out of their hands and falls back off top of his body. <laughs> Get it? Okay, lift, lift, lift. Uh, okay, okay, let's move to the. Uh, okay, no, we, we gotta get back on topic before we yeah, keep going on. Yeah, What's going on? I know, I know. What's happening? Uh, so you guys uh, finally dock, and I'm gonna say wave goodbye to the caveat emptor. Goodbye, my beloved. And 
you journey a, a fairly short distance through some woods uh, on the shore of this beach here. And you find yourselves at a large cleared out area. Um, let me get some more fitting music for this. One second. Is there like is there like one of those highway signs that says "Welcome to X" whenever you like cross state lines? Is it like "Welcome to Nova"? Welcome with to like Oregon. a smiley face. Oh, welcome to Oregon. Uh, on the on the beach. Yeah. You just have like fifty signs in case they dock somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of what kind of country is Nova? Like what kind of like biome? Uh, still what desert. Minecraft biome is it? Still desert, yeah. Minecraft. Okay. Oh yeah, this will work for what I want to do. Okay. <clears throat> Can you guys hear that? All right. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Um, as you come through the clearing, you're going to see a. Small, n not small, I, I would say, uh, a, a couple hundred people um, in this small camp. Uh, there is bustling back and forth here, and in the middle of it all, you're going to see dozens of small bookshelves levitating in the air, bobbing uh, up and down. Uh, occasionally, they slowly spin. Um, you guys have come forth to the library. Let's fucking go. This is a place I can get behind. Let me see if I can find a better description, because I wrote out a cool thing about it. I love this image of Nemo. This is where we play Fortnite. This is where we play CSGO <laughs> no. on our land. Uh, no. This is <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the AV club. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. I got my writing. Um, <clears throat> dry, airtight shelves floating on dozens of tensors, floating discs move like a long, undulating serpent of knowledge. Clouds of moisture from the air around the camp are used to both keep the books dry and aid in the levitation of these specially enchanted bookshelves. Uh, the shelves themselves uh, are accessible from all 360 degrees and are lined up in a rough grid shape two to a row um yeah the music stopped it Damn. didn't it didn't stop it's just quiet <laughs> um zephyr looks very kind of like um uh, a little bit in awe and everything and just kind of looking around Kind of, Dor will kind of look at Ill and go. So, where's this section on uh, interplanar demons? Uh, good question. I'll have to ask. <laughs> do you want to do the? Do you want to do kind of a cross between our two perspectives on it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when you guys enter the, come on, I gotta like read through all my fucking notes now. I have to scroll through our DMs because I didn't actually write anywhere. Anyways. So, so before before you shout it out, hang on, hang on I, I had All one right. more thing I was gonna do. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, oh God. So this camp, <laughs> you guys, this camp would contain an extremely large amount of knowledge, and if I gave you guys uh, as long as you wanted at it, you guys would just be here for a, a really long time and spoil a lot of things. So I'm going to give you guys each one question about the mechanics of this world or the history. Ooh, okay. good timing. Yeah. Um, in character? I, yeah, in character. Uh, or out of character even, uh, I suppose. This is something that I'm going to let you guys go wild with here. Just yeah. so you know, though the library contains very much knowledge, it doesn't have knowledge on everything. The more obscure okay. your topic is, the less likely you are to get an answer. Okay. I'll give you guys a, a redo what? if you don't come up with what you're looking for, but still just the one question. Yeah, one answered question, I presume. One answered question, uh, yes. And it's about like the library, the world, all that? 
Yes, it could be anything um, that's common knowledge, anything that's history, anything like that. Um, Zephyr um, kind of goes up, like walks like up to Ill and looks like she's about to ask something and then kind of at the last minute is now like combating with herself in her head. Uh, he will yes, notice this and say, what's on your mind? Um, do you have anything about Lumisian refugees? I probably. I think I'd like uh, to learn more about that. Go ahead. Uh, let me, well, before that, I want to just explain a little bit. Yeah. how like the system works out of character yeah good. so basically so for starters it, it's uh you, you will notice that there is a very big mix of cultures here and it's it's like a like a melting pot yeah uh people from all walks of life all over here all of them seem to be interested in knowledge and so forth um the the mood in the camp is very light Whereas a lot of places you've been have felt like heavy and you you, you know what I mean like it, it it feels very you can feel like at ease here yeah you don't think anyone would judge you you think everyone will try to be as helpful as I can etc yeah um so how the book stuff works is there isn't necessarily like one person in charge of all of the books uh, each section like they, there are a lot of sections and subsections each section is run by someone called a keeper and that keeper also has apprentices which are called uh custodians so while the keeper is like the head honcho for that section the custodians will probably be the ones helping you find everything mm. so ilmote will not necessarily know where everything is located because he is not a keeper or a custodian mm. uh but he he will know who to talk to to help with that Okay. Gotcha. Kind of like, be like, what is a valuable question to ask? How many fingers am I holding up? No, literally, like, <laughs> poured on her way to ask the dumbest fucking question. Poured on her way to research herself. <laughs> how what to say about how me? to revive dead brother? <laughs> how to spoon? This is just like a... <laughs> how to spoon? <laughs> 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 Thor will walk up to the desk. Listen, I was wondering if you had any uh, books on how to spoon. <laughs> Such a terrible. <laughs> I, I know that one well. <laughs> a card on the butt, titty in my hand, kiss your neck, hell yeah. Titty in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, could you repeat that one more time? I'm having Please. a little trouble grasping. How to spoon. Please. The oh. card on the butt. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Dude, I find that video is so fucking funny. It's so good, oh my god. Uh, holy fuck. Oh, anyway. Uh, uh, an oh, another thing I forgot to mention, you, you will see also a decent bit of children around. Ugh. I hate those guys. Children <laughs> means orphans, and orphans means zombies. <laughs> Um, Tor connecting the most ass backwards <laughs> shit. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> uh, Nemo, instead of a question, can we search with like a key phrase in this library? Um, that's gonna be harder for on me, but yeah, that should be okay. Hmm. I didn't even think about the key phrase. I didn't think about like I, I didn't even think about not like I have a thing I want to research, but I didn't think about it not being a question that way. I was like, fuck. Yeah, because if I give you guys a key phrase, I'm going to give you something, but I don't know yeah. if it's going to be what you want, and I'm going to have to think about something to give you. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine Reports? with it being more vague if it's not a direct question. If that makes sense. I think I have a good way of, like, making my question more of a question and a specific yeah. thing. I have I have a specific thing that Zephyr is looking into about them seeing, or, like, refugees that I can, that I can ask further. 
if you prefer that. Oh, sorry, just a sec. You're good. I know what Il Mote is going to be looking up. Ooh, okay, there oh, there we sorry. <laughs> okay, what was your question? Who mine? Yeah. Uh, I was saying. Um, I know. I know what Zephyr is like for the looking into with the Lumisian refugees. I'm, I didn't know if you wanted me to frame the question more specifically, or. Um. Yeah, if you could be more specific, like what? Yes. What do you want to know? I want to. She's looking for the location of where Lumisian refugees will go for like a safe place, essentially. Hmm. Or common places that they will like, like find like refuge in. Anything like that. Okay. So let's see. Sticky cup. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead, Ilmote. It's me. Yeah. Ill do do you want more direction on that or, um, wait, wait, me, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I I my question. Um, no, I don't even think I need a key. Oh, I, I think okay, I so, Zephyr. Mm hmm. As you look around, you will notice that some of the children are wearing familiar clothes that you may have recognized from when you were in the Missia. And you can oh. come to the conclusion that this camp is one of those safe places for them to go. Oh, she stops fucking dead in her tracks. Um, as you guys look around at groups of children that Zephyr are looking at, you notice uh, distinctive, long, flowing clothing um, made of ribbons. Damn. She looks, she looks visibly stunned. Uh, as, as Il Mote sees you looking like that, he will say, we are uh, taking all walks of life here. Try to help as many people as we can. Um, and she not not like not like super like like dramatically or anything, but you know when somebody like kind of like collapses onto like um into like a niece like sit, like when they're like sitting with like their like I don't know what it's fucking called. I agony I, I, to their knees. Kind of, I guess not 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 in the way that not in the way that like that this does. Hold on. Not, not like this. It's not like this. It's like she's like sitting. Oh man, how long was I was I leaking our DMC corn? Hang on, I have to blur that out. Uh oh, ah, yeah, we'll figure that one. <laughs> we see. Quick, quick, someone get the fire. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I uh, did anything um, bad. I think we're good. Yeah, but you know when you know when somebody kind of like you know when somebody kind of goes like weak in the knees and they just kind of like um like like fall on their like butt kind of. Yeah. Just like, yeah. like, 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 like arms, like to the side limp. She kind of like does like that and just, uh, just like, lets out this like, like really like, like. <sighs> she doesn't look like she knows what to say. She looks. There's so many like confused like emotions going on in her face. She looks like a combination of like surprised and happy and confused and slightly frustrated i'm gonna say that that's not gonna count as your question but <laughs> i am going to go to a different player now if that's okay yeah go ahead no go ahead um let's work up so tor this is funny because I actually had, I had a question and then now I have two questions, and uh -oh. I'm trying to debate and I'll kind of I'll share it with the party because I think it'll be fun out of character of course because I want I want I want uh, player before character. before you say what you say uh, Ilmote's intentions with his question is he will he was going to research something about your 
patron since he said so he would do so on the cart. But if okay. anyone else in the party has a request for him to research, he will do that. So if anyone has two questions, he'll research one for you. Ooh. Wow. Since he doesn't Why really have to have research any for himself. Uh, I was, so the two questions I was going to ask, uh, I, I, yeah, that's the correct grammar, uh, was uh, number one, what are the recorded, like what are recorded cases of prophetic dreams throughout history? Because I think that would be cool to see like the different cases and situations and maybe, you know, find someone like me. And then the second question that I just came up with is just straight up asking, what is the symbol? Because <laughs> I feel like that, that feels like it would, it would come up with a result. But uh, I guess it uh, depends. Does anybody else have a second question that they would like to ask that uh, they think like ill should ask instead? Um, I feel like I, I have my question ironed out. I was already struggling to think of my first one. <laughs> yeah, don't think of a second one if you don't want. Yeah, to. like I, yeah. I'm good with my because I feel good. like Port's Port's not really. Port knows what she wants to know about the world. Yeah, um, I do have I do have a better uh, you, you but now I, I do have like a better minded question of what to actually ask specifically. I wonder what uh, Boo Boo would ask. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't do that to me. Don't you buy more honey? He would, fucking he would, he would He would probably ask how to cure terminal cancer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he might ask that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, how to learn how to throw things instead of dumping them. How to make friends. <laughs> and influence people. How to spoon. <laughs> <laughs> How to spoon? <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess uh, Tikrin, do you want to ask the uh, the symbol question, and I'll ask the dreams question? Works for me. Okay. Tor will ask the library, "What are some recorded cases of prophetic dreams throughout the history of Other Hmm. That is a good question. Okay, I get to flex my DM brain on this. One Woo! second while I think. <laughs> there is no record. <laughs> it's never happened, there are man. No so the thing, by the, the only way, the one with this alone. experience. So the thing about the library is that it's not like you're necessarily reading from like textbooks or like Wikipedia or anything. A lot of it is first-hand accounts. Yeah. Ah. So pod champ. Ugh. Sorry. Because it, it's most because <laughs> you know you know how you've seen Il Mote running in his journal. Oh, ba basically, he's first hand accounts. Yeah. So ba they oh they God. are basically making the textbooks. That's so cool. All of these books are fucking like. This only makes me want to have poor people. fucking waste her question on bullshit about her own ship. It'll be really funny. Do it. Maybe It'll maybe be... later. No, I have a more important question I want to ask. I, I was I was kind of curious to research more of the fire demon, but I also promised I'm, Tora to research I'm the mark, going so I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to ask more about the fire demon now. Now that I've okay, got, gotten like one of like the safe places, yeah. like uh, what's it called? Confirmed. Um, now the the immediate like thing from that is further in, like investigating of what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So your question is records of prophetic dreams. Interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> Across the history of Other Daunt, I was so smart I used the name of the world. Sorry. Mm. Oh, I mm, is it too late to clarify further so I don't get monkey paw? Ooh, wait, wait, <laughs> Nemo. I just Nemo, I just had an idea for this. Yeah, what's up? You want to DM it oh, to I'm, me? I'm DMing, yeah, I'm yeah. DMing it to you. Let me, I think I have an answer, but let me, let me see what you have to say first before I say anything. Ah.
Why is it 81 degrees? <laughs> it's dark. Can I have that? Yes. Gladly. We're having a winter storm and I don't want this anymore. <laughs> it's... It already feels like it's... It already feels so warm. It's And it's barely the end of March. Sorry, not March, February. <laughs> It feels so hot, and I'm so fucking upset. Uh... Might be 70-something. 70 78, but basically whatever. High of 83, low of 67. Fuck you. High of 90 tomorrow?! <clears throat> I miss winter. I don't think we're getting three more weeks of winter. It wasn't Groundhog's Day like a month ago. I don't remember when Groundhog's Day is ever. I do because it was the like day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you remember looking at my dad and going, I'm nice. Groundhog's Day? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? What did that fuck say? Um, Groundhog Day okay. 2023. Okay, okay. I have come to an. To an answer for your question. Um, Which one? So, Fucking you asked this question, and Ilmote. No, he, um, he's not lying. I, I feel the six more. Would you please there. direct him towards the particular keeper of this kind of knowledge? So, specifically, the person that would deal with this kind of knowledge in terms of dreams and... You said prophetic dreams, right? Mm -hmm. Specifically prophetic dreams. So, there is one person at the camp uh, that is referred to as the Oracle. And it's th they're not necessarily a typical like spiritual Oracle talking about like huge prophecies or anything like that. But they are... A type, like they're a type of keeper, where they keep all of the things in regards to mysticism and like prophecy and things like that. They're also the person that picks who gets to like go out and research specific areas. It's so, like the oracle picked Ilmote to go to Venta. Mm -hmm. So that that is who he would bring you to to get the information from. Um, as you come to this person. Um, you're going to find them bent over, looking at the bottoms of one of the enchanted bookshelves, uh, inspecting it, it seems, for damage. Uh, hello. <laughs> Sorry, uh, is, is this a bad time? I can come later. Okay, one second. Oh, I'm gonna bust out a voice I haven't used in a long time. <clears throat> and I actually have a trigger word for remembering the voice. <clears throat> the Grand Wizard King! Okay, here we go. Oh, my fucking god. I like to imagine this is a guy in his 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, travelers! Il note you have returned early! I. We know if this is fucking annoying. <laughs> this is no, funny. Perfect. Okay, good, good. So good. <laughs> can I can I size this guy up? Can I? Oh uh, no, he's taller <laughs> than you. What does he look like? Okay. Um. <laughs> Let me think for a second. Uh, how about you roll? insight while I describe what it looks like. Okay. Um, so this gentleman is about what you would expect him to be. Uh, he doesn't have a wizard's cap, but he does have the robes and um, the wizened old fingers and stuff. Does he have glasses? He doesn't have glasses. Old fingers in the body of a 14 year old. <laughs> That's a Jesterland classic. That's a callback. Um, <laughs> that's my heater. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> tuning it as I go. You know, okay. Can you can you change your battery in your heater? Stop! <laughs> 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 this dude doesn't know what a heater sounds like when it starts. Uh, did you roll that insight? Sorry, hang on. Yeah, that's that's the seventeen. The seventeen. Um, 
with an insight check of 17, you can tell that he's definitely, like, this is a voice he's doing. This isn't his real voice. <laughs> yeah, El Elmote is kind of smirking at this. <laughs> like, no, he does this voice all the time, but it's not like his normal, like, he, he's, he's, it's not his normal tone of voice. Like, this is just how he talks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he he thinks it's funny because outsiders always get kind of thrown off by. <laughs> I think Tor will smile because he can respect playing a character constantly. Damn. You've brought these. You have brought these travelers to me. <laughs> the Grand Wizard, the Oracle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I was, <laughs> I was, um, dude, El Elmote kind of like pushes, por uh, pushes Tor forward, like, like a child, <laughs> like, you know how, you know how parents will like push their children to like go talk to someone? Yeah. Like That's I what El Elmote is doing to Tor. The world's library. If you have it's come to me, it must be of grave importance that you seek me out. <laughs> <laughs> Tor is trying to speak, but every time this guy opens his mouth, he fucking bursts into laughter. Like, he can't control it. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> so I... <laughs> Great wizard as a Star Wars character. <laughs> That's how I'm making myself laugh right now. <laughs> I... I... I, um... I was told that you uh, have some poor knowledge on uh, dreams. SMP? <laughs> Specifically prophetic ones. Shut the fuck up! Dreams MP. So he strokes his long beard with his wizened long fingers. So you've sought me out for my wisdom! <laughs> that, that is correct, yes. <laughs> Grand High Wizard. <laughs> Okay, um, dude, I had an answer for your question, but then I totally forgot after I started doing this fucking voice. <laughs> so fucking forgot it. I'm so, so caught up so in my old. own character right now. I love this guy. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, so you were you were looking for records of prophetic dreams? Okay, okay. <clears throat> oh, so do I glean anything else from the insight besides the fact that he's just no, playing no, his voice? No, no, no. <laughs> He's fucking weird. That's what you got. Yeah, the little freak. <laughs> freak. No, I, I don't need an in, I don't need an insight to see that this guy's just like me for real. <laughs> <laughs> um, talking further with the with the elderly man. Um, so you're you're just to clarify one more time. I want to get the phrasing right. Uh, <sighs> what is the question? What are some records? of prophetic dreams across other daunt, specifically non-fiction ones. Okay. You're wording, you're wording this like it's a fucking genie wish. Oh, don't, don't listen to that it music, is, that's the wrong music. I'm talking to Nemo right now. Okay, I'm actually, that's a, good, that's a good point. Okay. You, you've seen how he DMs. He has a little yeah, he, he, sen he sends a lot of messages when he DMs me. Yeah. Plus, if if Tor was going to ask any question, he would make sure that it was eloquently phrased. I remind you, <clears throat> he is decently smart. Not very, but enough to know that he shouldn't fuck around with knowledge acquisition. You ask what you want to get. Hang on, I'm gonna roll it back to like here. Uh, yeah. I'm, uh, by the way, I may have I may have misconstrued a little bit. Basically, the Oracle covers everything that's not necessarily like can be covered in first-hand accounts, or is like un not necessarily the, fully he's reliable. The, yeah, he's the librarian. He's the giver. He's like yeah, he's kind of like the giver. Yeah, I, I think of him as like fifty percent navigator, fifty percent like leader, and then like a third fate interested person that doesn't add up to 100 percent. neither does tor 50 percent 50 that is just me he's missing like a good That's third deserved. he adds up to 60 percent no more oh. that's 40 that's not even a passing grade <laughs> dude this is a good fit okay sorry um now I have to try and do this goofy voice, but try and make it sound grave and scary. <clears throat> you could just make him. You could just make him drop his voice. <clears throat> what did have you asked me? 
There have been records across the centuries of not a prophetic dream, but a recurring dream across cultures and borders. Recurring is... Uh, it's fine, but these are... They're not recurring. They're new every time. Hmm. Tell me, boy. <laughs> Have you dreamt of fire? Of cold? Of pain in your chest? Yes, yes. You might be experiencing heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> You might be entitled to financial compensation. You ruined Nemo's joke. <laughs> <laughs> then you or a loved one may have mesothelioma, and you may be entitled to financial compensation. God damn it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I traveled halfway across the fucking ring, and it's another mesothelioma. Fuck it, whatever that word is bad. <laughs> Mesothelioma. Meso. Meso. Mesotheliopias. Mesoamerican. <laughs> I thought, I thought My you were wife. a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> we do have one book. And with that, he's going to. He hands you host some patrons. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to trail. Chapter, chapter 18. <laughs> trail his hands along bookcase after bookcase his eyes closed his feet guiding him he knows these shelves like the back of his hand eventually he stops and gives one of the bookshelves a slight flick of his wrist and it slowly guides glides in a circle before he stops it again and opens a glass case on the front out of which he's going to pull an old small leather, leather journal the only thing is that the center of this journal has a large burnt hole through it. Oh. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Fucking giving me. <laughs> you're giving me the book that looks like me. <laughs> it's also very short. <laughs> yeah, and ugly, it. and it smell. <laughs> Torque, I would like you to roll Arcana with advantage looking at this. Ooh. <laughs> I love advantage. I, Sorry, I don't know I don't know, I don't know why can me. we just can we just all agree that Tor is the stinky one I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the reason I rolled. That's a embarrassing. One. That's, really embarrassing. That's actually so embarrassing. The if only Silverman was here to give it a bardic inspiration or something. <laughs> We're no bardic is saving that. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it's advantage, so it would have been it, it could have gotten him at least a tw at most a twenty. Bardic? Oh, I forget Bardic doesn't just give like a fucking plus a d6 or some shit. He should have- he should have silvery barbs the fucking- Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the- He gives disadvantage to like, yeah, the bookkeeper. <laughs> the bookkeeper dies on the spot from failing a constitution save. Real. The hole in the middle of the book uh, has some singeing around it. Uh, and it looks familiar, but you can't quite place your finger on it. Um, yeah. Uh, he'll look down at it, and he'll look back at the, uh, the Grand High Wizard, and he'll go, Tell me, tell me, Grand High Wizard, where, where was this? Where did you find this? You have already used your first question! <laughs> 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 the fucking lamp in Ruby. 
<laughs> it's like God fucking Jin. He like points at you, you disintegrate on the spot. You shouldn't have asked another question. Oh my god. I would answer you if I could. They may have traveled with us long ago. Or mayhaps it was found. I... I see. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means. This is... Uh, this is something I've been searching for for a long time. You must return this book in one month or there will be a fee! Nanima. <laughs> <laughs> how much is the fee? You're not allowed to leave with the book. Oh, I'm fine with that. You have to, like, make a copy? I mean, it would no. take a while, but you're I don't think they have no? any copies. Yeah, fucking writing it by hand. Do you Dude, know love, how expensive a printing press is in medieval times? <laughs> I'm uh, talking I, about I, using I, your hands, like. Uh, a I would human say being. they they allow you to like take from books and stuff, but they will not let you transcribe them. Okay. Because they have so a lot of like, take down the important parts. They're knowledge hoarders. They literally it's not. Hoard no, it's not that they. The it's not knowledge that they hoard gatekeepers. the knowledge. They are worried about it getting into the wrong hands. That's yeah. fair. So this is, but no, you would at least take mm, down the important cringe. parts. Yeah, they they let people they let anyone access the books. What do you but mean? They yeah, do not let people we take the books. We walked in here with our fucking yeah. like. Oh, it's to keep villains to, from getting here. And so you know, obviously, a villain couldn't just walk into the camp and then read it and then get the same amount of fucking knowledge. Yeah, but Fine. they they there's still supervision while they're doing that. Me, 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 me. Nemo, I want to read this book. And also, there's the chance of someone taking the book and not returning it. Yeah. Read to, read to me the, the front of the book. Like, uh, just, like, tell me what's on the first couple of pages. Uh, an unmarked leather journal. As you open the book, however, you do see handwriting that you expected it to maybe be familiar to the one that you found in hosts and patrons, but this handwriting's different. It's hard to make out very much knowledge in this book, but it describes certain similarities between you and this person. The uh, what language is it written in? Uh, common, but an older version of common. Okay. The old common. The old common. Common, but with an e at the end. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You see um, detailed writings ab about a dream. Probably the most intact page. Um, and it describes a dream that you once had. A dream of stairs. That I once had? Stairs that go down, 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 down. Suddenly, a feeling of cold fills your body. A dream of pain in your chest. Something coming down a hallway framed in red lights, and then, just as a, you're about to see what it is, the writer wakes up. I'm going to flip to the end of the book. How does their story end? <clears throat> the very end of the book is very muddled, but you do find a small passage. Um, the writer is finally there. The oldest place in the world. What? Is that all it says? Yes. The oldest place in the world. The oldest place in the world. I'm gonna flip back. Are there any recordings of the dream that 
I had last, I guess, a week ago, if we're counting the time skip. No, it's strange. The the one dream over and over again, but nothing new. The dreams don't change for this person. Dreams don't change for this person? Dreams... Fuck. Why am I special? <laughs> ah! I hate this. Oh, We're being mad that he's like... God's specialist boy. <laughs> Dude, I don't think it's God. <laughs> I'll be real with you. It's it's a uh, fucking I... meme. So, so your your chest has a big hole in it, right? And, yeah, the, and so the world's the world's a donut, and it's got a big hole in it. The oldest place would be the donut hole. Either that, or the outside mountainous region. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was gonna ask about the mountains too. Well, that explains why the fucking dot in the fucking uh, logo that's part of my symbol is in space. Because uh -huh. it's somewhere me. fucking out there in the astral sea, and it's the donut hole, and it's the oldest part of the world. Oh. Nemo's sweating bullets right now because I just completely <laughs> fucking called him out on his big <laughs> twist. What do you mean, the, you? The snort. I said it first, Sir Doc. I, well, you fucking said You and I work together. Thing. Shakes your hand. Shakes hand. We corroborate and All right, we both, we both do a backflip. Amen. Fuck yeah. Anyway, Amen. I'll turn to the- Quickly, quickly to the... sidebarring to ask, is uh, Tor's uh, current appearance the blonde one? No, he is back to how he looked in season one. How uh, do you, you want to just one again? send the image to me really fast? Yeah, I agree. Haha, <laughs> image. Oh, I found a rough I drawing. Didn't... I'm gonna yeah, I didn't... shift us back to the wizard I... library music. Sorry, I, yeah. I'm doing nothing. You're good. You're good, you're yeah, good. I did not draw um, Tor during his season one. I'm still- You I'm did a little a bit- for that scene. You have- you have this eh, one. Kind of. I like it. it. Uh, don't post that one. It's gross. It's gross. His hair looks weird and the lines are too bold. I, I like might it. just be There's able to no make it work weight. with the blonde one. I like oh, it. if you want line weight, fucking world ends with you. Just it's so tasty. Okay, but I can I can work with this. Oh, this looks nothing like how I want it to look. His hair and I can run a couple his... ideas by you, but I, I I'm doing I have to do a lyric comic for class, so I have Holy an idea shit, my for. Uh... is huge! Like damn. <laughs> I had an idea for uh, Holy this shit, my fucking. My forehead is huge, like damn. Holy hell. Holy hell. Sorry. <laughs> Go on. Ron. Uh, oh, I just had to do a lyrical comic for class, and I had an idea, so. Okay. <laughs> that Are would you... be sick as hell. Are All right. Saying... Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, before we switch off, can I? This isn't going to be one of my question questions, but I'm going to personally ask the fucking the high wizard. Where is the oldest place in the world? The oldest place in the world. Mm. I suppose I don't know the answer. But it is said that we, the library of the world, originated from a place of great knowledge, lost to time. Perhaps. Thank you. You will find your answer. Far west of here. <laughs> and what would be far west of here? Far west of here. Uh, yeah. That's where the bathroom is. Maryland? Oh my god. Maryland! Wait, is there a- there's a place on this map named Maryland. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys just realized that I, now? No, I knew there's about it. There's a place called Polynesia. There's a place called Balls. There's a place called Maryland. Nemo, You're gonna be shocked when you hear about the place called Bra. <laughs> that one's- okay. Oh, okay. 
Glad to know. The bar is uh, uh, underground. Is that place called that Roach? Fug. Yeah, and? I like my country Both names. Fuck you guys. I, I like you. <laughs> I love No, them. I like them too. I like Friender. still funny though. I like them. Yeah. <laughs> I hope Friender is like a pacifist country. I don't remember what Friender was. Nemo, would I remember what it was? <laughs> uh, no, it's not written yet. I just, I just, I, I just check my notes, and that's why I don't remember. <laughs> I hope it's a pacifist uh, but yeah, country. Yeah, who else has a question? I kind of died yeah. the question. Asked yeah, Port, it's now your turn, and then we'll loop back to uh, Zephyr, and then we'll have Il Mote do whatever. So that way, if there's like an extra question, it goes to the person. I that feel can like yes, perfect. Ports is definitely uh, much more simple. In the <laughs> very, very beginning of the campaign, uh, you told me that Port had. I, I can't search anymore, Discord has decided I'm incapable. But you told me there's legends of seafaring monsters in the, like the mountainous areas, I think. I would fucking mm. search it in our channel, but I can't. Uh, Discord's literally telling me, like, we dropped the fucking mag magnifying glass, can you restart? And I'm like, no. <laughs> so, just know that it's in there. And I think yes. because they're only legends to her as of now, she's searching for some sort of proof of existence. Like, it doesn't matter if it's detailed just proof of existence in some regard an account of seeing it uh like you know some sort of like place it could have been like you know some regard of or even accounts that it doesn't exist like just something that like leans one way or the other this is complete legend or this is complete truth yeah oh i found i can resend the message if you need i found it and it says the areas are coined as the underground. So specifically, like, in that area. Yeah. <laughs> um... Which, uh... Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, yeah, you see it. Okay. Yeah, T I had to scroll up, but I got it. Il Mote, what uh, what category would you would you say this is? This question would be filed under. Um, r r say the question one more time. So, Port knows legends of seafaring monsters in an area known as the underground. It's tied to like the mountainous region. Um, she's looking for proof of existence. So, like, kind of the question is, do these exist or not? Um, either as like proof of existence as it is a legend that was made up, or proof of existence as like no, these are real things, and you should fucking watch out for them. Hmm. So they would have a section dedicated to specific. They would have like sections dedicated to specific regions. So the mountainous region would be one, and then there would be a subsection for the bestiary of like creatures that would be found in that location. So you could check there if they're just rumors of creatures and there's no concrete evidence of them then you can always go back and ask the oracle again since he he covers basically everything that's not necessarily provable okay so i guess that just means do i find it in the book text there is not a lot of information about the mountainous regions but there are first-hand accounts of those living on the borders of that area. Okay, okay. I didn't know you left. Did you? Were you able to hear all that or no? No, I was peeing. I but didn't we, see you we, left we either. Just... I literally just saw that. It's I okay. did, but I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> what but, did I miss? Uh, I thought everyone else saw it. <laughs> oh wait, no, I have to answer uh, your question exactly as you asked it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were asking if there were there were any books about that area. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Like. Okay. <laughs> so she, she finds oh my them. God. Okay. Um. <laughs> Damn, the monkey paw really curling tonight. <laughs> so. uh... There is. one book of a mad adventurer from the area who made it their life's work to explore the unexplored and to go out into 
this mountainous area. In this book, you see, um, so you see this book first of all, as tightly waterlogged. Um, it's a thick cover of leather that is specially treated so as to keep dry. Um, I'm sure Port's familiar with these kind of books, given yeah. she's kept journals. The corners are battered and discolored, as though slammed around many, many times. Um, carefully opening this book, the leather slightly creaking in protest, you are going to see this person's last recorded um, journal at attempting this adventure. It describes an unsailable sea, a storm that never ends, water as cold as ice, and sharpened rocks at every turn. It describes him and one unnamed friend making it to the top of a mountain and looking out into this uncrossable ocean. It describes a flash of lightning and then the waters. There were so many shapes in the waters. Every way you looked, even up. That one strike of lightning illuminating the entire sea for a moment. They saw hundreds of outlines. Each one enormous. It wasn't clear what happened next, but the unnamed friend didn't survive, and the adventurer barely made it back. That's is all you see. Is there any, like, yeah, is there a name on this journal or anything? Um, and I knew I shouldn't have closed the NPC name generator. <laughs> Sorry, hate to do it to you. <laughs> That's disgusting. Stop that. Um, let's see here. Why are you ripping out? You taking a shit in my library. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Dude, I gotta use this name. Okay, their name is Gore Master Rash. Damn. Whoa. No wonder the dragon things didn't want him. I don't know why I keep calling them dragons when you call them seafaring monsters, but all I imagine are the fucking dragons from Atlo, so that's oh, why I keep going back Master to Master Ash. That's okay, too. Master Ash. I, th I thought it said Master, Master Rash. Master Ass. Maced Rash. I keep thinking of this fucking specific sea monster from Atlas. It's like, keep calling it a fucking dragon when you have never once said it was a dragon. Dragging these nuts. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh. Um, at some point she'll probably ask Ilmote if he's familiar with the name, like if it's someone who is actively in the library still. Hmm. How recent is this book? Actually, we so there isn't really necessarily a good way to tell because the library for a long time did not keep very detailed records of where the books necessarily came from. And it's only that very recently they have started doing that. So he doesn't really have a way to know that. 
Okay. And not all of the books are first-hand accounts from people in the library. Sometimes they are external texts that are recovered. And I think it's more likely that this may have been a text that was recovered. So okay. He would probably explain all of that in character. That makes sense. Still so didn't hurt to ask, you know? Yeah. Zephyr. Hmm? It's your turn. Yay! Um, so my question... Zephyr currently... She was still a little bit shocked, but... Um, now she gets up, and now she has a little bit more of a firm question. Um, and her question is... Um, what are the fire demons, and how can you disconnect from them or, like, escape them? That's two questions, Your Honor. Fuck you! Um, you search for a long time before making your way to the oracle. Hello! So you've returned! <laughs> She's biting her lip back. She's trying so hard not to, not to laugh in this dude's face. Uh, Ilmote is going to, like, nudge Zephyr and say, you're okay to laugh if you'd like. <laughs> Hello. Um, is this, is this where I come for my question? Yes! What is okay. your quest? I, I wanted to know what, um, what these fire demons are that, um, I know of and if there's any way to disconnect from them or escape them. I can't say I know anything about a fire demon. Maybe be more descriptive. Um... God. He's kind of scratching at his head. Uh... Uh... Is there anything here about... Just trying to find the words. Entities related to... Sacrifices in Lumicia. <clears throat> One second here. I need this. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, hang on, sorry. I'm, I'm kind of hyping myself up for this a little. No, you're good, you're good. Yes. Blue missions. We know a fair amount of them. Seeing as our truce has lasted for so long. I will tell you that a beast such of you such as you have described has been witnessed but I can't say I've heard of any survivors survivors <clears throat> I am old and powerful okay sorry go ahead. <laughs> you're good <laughs> You said that I, sense. Yeah, I, know, I, I imagine that it like it, oh no, it's like it like after he says like survivors, it like it, it, the pam like the the kind of the camera like cuts to like Zephyr's like face and like it, it echoes survivors, <laughs> but it's actually just him saying survivors, survivors. He's just trying to find his voice. Again. Survivors, <laughs> um, survivors. Um. <laughs> Zephyr's stomach drops at that. 
I will tell you this. All of the font of Lumisian magic is not normal fire magic. It all stems from one single source somewhere in Ashland, guarded by the Magistrate Brimsauer. Oh my god. Uh. Gosh, she's she's just kind of like like pondering on that on that now. Um she I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to decide if she wants to give more information to them. As like Since it seems like um the the sacrifice thing isn't a very like well known thing, she she's thinking about giving further information about it. Um, after, after god damn it sorry I looked at Buster I was like I gotta look away um, <laughs> after after thinking on it for a little bit she um, she asked the oracle um, do does the library have a lot of knowledge about the sacrifices from Lunasia there are journals very sad stories. Many of the people here probably have seen what you are describing firsthand. But there's never been a survivor. Not in our recorded history, I'm afraid. <sighs> you could always ask specifically the keeper for the Lumisian information, but the, if the the Oracle has like general knowledge of most of the subjects since he kind of covers everything. Mm -hmm. But you, you can ask more like the person that's more like expertise in that subject matter. But if the Oracle doesn't think that they have it, then odds are they probably don't. Okay. My brain always blanks during D&D. I'm so filled with so much shit. So, okay, we're and getting close like, to wrapping up. <laughs> yeah, we're getting close. You can make um, it! I can do it! Hang um, on! Uh, uh, Emo, can you make the next source of information that we ask for require a battle so we can we can all use our new you stuff? You must fight <laughs> the book goblin! <laughs> the boblin! There's suddenly a thief and we're like, we have to fucking hunt them out, their ass down. We have to kill them! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Electric! <laughs> Kill, him. Kill him now! <laughs> Kill him now! Um, she... She says... Tom, I'm looking up something. Um, she sighs and she says... Thank you. Um... I guess there's a good amount of... Refugees here, I see. Yes. People of all f sorts come to stay here. I'm trying to think of anything else that I can think of. One last question. How to spoon? <laughs> Ah, oh, the ancient writ. <laughs> <laughs> say, it, say, it, say it in the voice. You have to commit. I don't remember it to be honest. <laughs> Dick hard, oh. Dick hard on the butt. Titty in my hand. Kiss Dick you. Hell yeah. Hard in the butt. <laughs> in the <laughs> then. Titty in my hand. You must put titty in your hand. Once you have secured these ingredients, ingredients. kiss your neck. <laughs> Hell Hell yes. yeah. It's so good. What a dumb so bit. You guys are torturing me. <laughs> this sucks. I'm no, I still get, I still get, I still get the. Fuck your motor. 
Uh, I don't I don't know if what's it called if I techn I technically have another thing that I'm a little bit curious about, but I don't know if if, if it's bring it up. Um, Let, I I can always look into it. Okay, I want to know. Um, I don't I want to know any other safe places potentially. Uh, besides if there's any other ones besides the library. <sighs> so orphanages are burned down. <laughs> oh, that's cruel. Wow. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she's like, thank you, thank you. And just kind of walks off to try to not laugh at this dude. I like that this is like place of no judgment and we the most judgmental people possible. Yeah. Oh, Ilmote meant it when he said that you were okay to laugh by the way. Yeah. She just, I don't know. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> um, she just, she's just going over to not hang out on the ground and just, she's so tired. But she, but she looks, she looks like visibly like relieved. All right. So for my question, I want everyone to reiterate and like agree on what my question is going to be. Okay. I want it to be something that benefits the whole party if we know it. Can I ask a question before you ask your question? Yeah. So this is out of character completely. Mm -hmm. But what would Silverman want to ask? I no. think he. I think he. No. I, I think he would look more Boo. into the bugs because he would. He was really interested in the bug stuff. Boo. Like, yeah. He would have. Look, I. I as a player. I as a player really want to think it would be cool if he made a scrying spell. So he'd probably look into the beetles specifically. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, I was just curious. Yeah. You know, if he was like still alive and I didn't kill him off. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you're taking ownership for it now. <laughs> Like I you mean, look at the image. When it happened. Look at the image. It, he's right there. The, the, the killer. The killer. We solved it like a fucking just diorama a, puzzle. Just, uh, just to clarify for the for the vod here, uh, this is what they're talking about. <laughs> that is our DM on, the, on that block. On that block. Right, from middle school, I'm pretty I, sure. I just want to say I love that you that one of your pupils is dilated and the other one is is is. Connected. No, that's just that's the lighting because the just top the right. Yeah, the top right side is is more lit up than the other side. I so I know, but I, it looks like they're. It's why it like... looks like he only has one eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> you should shave your eyebrows. No. Oh, no. I was literally about to say the only answer is to shave his eyebrows. I fucking hate that you have that. I hate that you have it's that. It's so fucking funny. I like that you took the eyebrows off. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Anyways, uh, so, so what, what is our question? Yeah. I want. I want everyone to agree on the question. I want it to be something that benefits the whole party. Okay. The whole party. Lo where Where is the location of the nearest therapist? <laughs> <laughs> he, the old man, like, he, like, stops for a second and then he takes out his finger and he pokes Ilmote in the heart and he's like, the real therapist is in here. <laughs> for a great cheap race you can get online, go, <laughs> go to, to the, the general, general <laughs> and save some time. Nemo, that's so, the Pathfinder was, campaign. <laughs> yeah, what was with... Before we end, what is with the Pathfinder bit with the general being in the corner? I was watching that bot. And I, oh, was, I just thought it would be funny. Confused. I, I literally don't funny. think there was a bit. I thought I think we all just said, "What do we do for the bot?" And someone said, "What the fucking general?" No, no, is. it wasn't someone. It was me. <laughs> what the fuck are you circling? What? They are the, different. <laughs> yes, they <laughs> are. are the I sizes. circled them. And that's the sizes, and I compared them. One is slight. <laughs> one, is, one is slightly smaller than the other. <laughs> but you didn't, you didn't like put them over the eyes, so we don't know yes, if it's I, accurate or not. Hold on! You just, you just put them next to each other. <laughs> Those could just be two random circles. Okay. Here. No, if you look, if you look in the non-changed image, Devil. this is this, this is a closer up. They're the same size. Oh god! I'm pretty I sure I'm not having a stroke in this picture. <laughs> 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 I think you're Anyways, guys, what's the question? Future. Please, oh, what's yeah, the question? Yeah. Um, uh, I want to know about my thing, and I don't know if anybody has a party like wide re question. Repeat, repeat your thing that you want to know. Uh, what is this symbol? And <laughs> then you just hold up my hand with the symbol on it. <laughs> okay, what did what did everyone else? Um, 
Oh, I just realized that I also could have read through the journal. Sorry, I I just I just realized that. Right now. <laughs> I'm I'm not thinking clear. My my question was to further know of any other uh, safe spaces that um, refugees have gone from Lucia. Rowan, do Wait, you have another do, question? Are, yeah, I was gonna say, are we doing other questions? I only accounted for one. Well, I, I'm I'm just trying to pick which one for me to research. Yeah. Oh no, I, Port's content with her answer. Yeah. Okay. Um, bef wait, can I, I'm, I'm sorry, because I forgot to do this, but can I, can I read one of the, what's it called, one of, one of the journals that the Oracle was talking about? I completely forgot that I could do that. It's kind of library for out of your own room. Yeah, yeah, what was your, oh, your question? It was like, a uh, some about survivors? Um, f for, with about the, the fire demon. Just crazy well, yeah, survivors. I, I wanted, I wanted to know more about, like, um, the fire demon. And so I was hoping to find something in the the journals from the from the, um, the sacrifices, uh, that the oracle is telling me about. Um. So the first hand accounts of the sacrifices. Yeah. Okay. I feel like <clears throat> Zephyr is not gonna like what yeah, they find yeah. in these journals. <laughs> so, yeah. so just 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 double checking as your DM. So you want me to traumatize you, right? Okay, just checking. Anyway, she's only she's <laughs> only going to read she's only going to read one. She's doing it on an impulse. Okay, okay. Um. This uh particular journal is written a first-hand account. Um, by a mother. Oh. Of her son Here. being burnt alive. And the fire that started inside. There were voices besides the screams of her child something different laughter and then more laughter from the crowd of onlookers their horrible smiles Forming a large sea of smiles. <laughs> Zephyr quickly shuts the book. <clears throat> Teacorn. That's me. Have we decided on a question yet or no? Um, so does, does anyone have any questions specifically framed about anything that the party would want to know as like a whole? Or I would probably end up going with Tours. Otherwise. I'll take that as a go with Tours. You can always yeah. say Sorry, that I wasn't, come back. Sorry, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, you can go with Tours. Okay, I'll go with Tours then. Yeah. Because I agreed I would do that when we were in the cart that I would look more into it. Yeah, do that. <laughs> He's typing. I think it's funny that every bit of. <laughs> no! <horrible. laughs> I, I think it's funny that every bit of Tor lore has been through someone else finding something for for him. Listen, I tried to roll Arcana on that fucking book. Anytime I need an important Arcana check, I roll low. But anytime I'm like, ooh, you gotta sense fucking Zephyr's lore on her back. Not that that wasn't important. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply Zephyr's that. lore. The lore tattoo. <laughs> yeah, why can't I roll high on my arcana for my lore? Fuck you! <laughs> it's because Tor smells. He's just stinky. He needs yeah, a bath. He's stinky as hell, man. 
<laughs> well, maybe you'd hate it less if Tor ever took a shower. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I guess, I guess I research the symbol. I research your mom. I'm sorry. I've had a severe and continuous lapse in my. I'm gonna say that. One second here. Sorry, I gotta look up. I'm googling something real fast. He's googling evil. Just the word evil? Yeah. That evil with a really question funny. mark at the end. <laughs> I evil haven't decided on it yet. <laughs> okay, I gotta scroll up. Scroll up, scroll up, up. Uh, that's what I found. Nemo, can you do a youch? Youch! Youch! <laughs> It's so good. I have stubbed my toe <laughs> on the bookshelf. <laughs> Wait, the, the Yauch is his actual voice and then he just immediately goes back into the <laughs> wizard voice. <laughs> Dude, I love the Oracle. He's just I a silly little Oracle. guy. He is. Okay, I'm going to give you guys this. <clears throat> Answers a pipe bomb. Um, looking through symbols. You do not find anything related to Taurus symbol, unfortunately, but you do find something. Ooh. Ooh. A, B, C, D, E, R, G. It's part of an alphabet. Interesting. Does it say what this is for, or what it is, or is it just there? It's just there. I'm gonna say, uh, be all mysterious and shit, and that's all I'm gonna give you for it. Cool, I will take note of this. Small dancing cat. Small dancing cat. That means E. That means E. <laughs> that means E! So true. Dark. Yeah, I, I guess I'll take note of that. Um, I'm gonna post this in thing we do. Yeah, the thing we do is like our note-taking channel at this point. Okie dokie! Cool. I think that's gonna be the end of our session, everybody. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Uh, and, then they go, and, then, and then we go shopping at some point before we got here, I presume. And we yeah. buy four yeah. health potions. Yeah, you guys uh, figure out what you want to buy and DM me, and then I'll subtract your four gold out. Potions. Is How that what is everybody wants? Um, I will mention mm -hmm. that anything purchased up to a certain limit, uh, Ilmote and the library will be covering. Oh hell cost. yeah! Nice. How much? How much are the? How much are the potions altogether? Four four health potions. I think it's like two hundred. God fucking damn. Somebody should know that. That's a player that wants to buy them. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was talking about standard stock 2d4. No, uh, I'm, I potions. am too. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure a standard health potion is 50, right? Yeah, it's 50. Sorry, did yeah, I Yeah, so 50 times 4 is yes, 200. Yes, yes, you did. Oh, I thought you were saying 200 per potion. I was like, what? No. No, <laughs> no. no. 200 all together. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, we have 400, so we could buy two for each one of us. No. I'm not spending all of my money on health potions. Well, good thing you're oh. mostly going to be spending my money. True. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Do we have anything else we can afford right now? Well, we are no, but... we are trying to save up for yeah. weapons, right? Yeah. Yeah. Zephyr's trying to save her money. right now? No, yeah, so that living. means that we shouldn't we spend all our money. We had a job, and then it killed my brother. <laughs> no, that was Tor. Okay, <laughs> see you guys next time on Tor. Season up. three. Next, next time we three. kill Port. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.